Oh, uh, I let it slide. I let that mistake slide.
past. Okay, there we go. Now that's working. Now I'm muting it. All right, looks like we're back. Let me try to fix the audio a bit. Uh, welcome back, everyone, to this season of Jotaro Quest. This is the 11th run. Just, man, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of runs. Mm. This run, I certainly hope so. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, for a quick recap, what happened last time was I got up all the way to chapter 24. I lost nearly everyone in chapter 23, but still beat it with Takumi. I still beat Takumi in chapter 23. But in 24, I just didn't have any guys left. And I died there. <laughs> hmm. So, yeah, one of the big issues I've had was literally skill, literally a skill issue. All my guys have garbage hit. I can probably fix this if I keep my Heartseeker guy alive. Heartseeker, Freeze, and Feeble can probably uh, break this. Can probably close the skill gap. Another thing I might try considering is just using Forged Fire Tomes instead of Lightning Tomes, because Lightning is actually pretty bad accuracy compared to like a Forged Fire Tome. But yeah. Anyway, in the meantime. Let's uh let, let, let's fix up the bounties. <laughs> Everyone's fucking dead, holy shit. Okay, let's let's get rid of all these X's. All of the X's are let's get rid of all of them. Well most of them. Oh, which one is this? Oh, that's Minus skill, Corrin, or bust. Well, the thing is, even with minus skill, Corrin is still very 
has a lot of stats, period. Okay, that's everyone. Made corn again? Hmm. I think just because of tradition, I should make co uh, male corn this time. But I think... Well, what do you guys think? <laughs> I think a maid... Maid is... I could go butler corn, maybe. Alright, let's see. Let's, let's randomize everyone here. Let's do this with background music. So, hmm. And corn looking look at generic. We'll get to that moment. Let's let's randomize everything first. Armor knight? Armor knight might be a bit easy. Okay. Let's uh get all these X's and move them away. Load star record. <laughs> Let's move all of these characters away and shuffle them again. I think let's leave the immovable units in S tier. I want to be able to use them if possible. So let's yeah, let me get open up random.org really fast. Why for Nicorn? That I mean you're you're suggesting actually good bills, which like I mean it'll help me win, but is that really what you want? <laughs> Okay, let's uh, Gunter is in C tier, Selena, C tier, Jacob, A tier, Azura, S tier, Kaze is in C tier, Baruka is in S tier, oh that's, that's not Baruka, Felicia is in S tier, Flora is in C tier, Leo is in A tier, Xander is in A tier. Harry is B tier. Benny is B tier. Silas, B tier. Odin is C tier. Arthur is A tier. Laszlo, C. Camilla, B. Niles, A. Izana, S. Uh, Nyx is C. Elise is A. Keaton is B. Charlotte is B. Shura is S. Mozu is A. And Effie is B. That's everyone. I think that's everyone randomized. Let's leave this out of X's here. So yeah, let's let's get started again. Let me restart my emulator really fast. I'm not taking suggestions for classes yet. Give me a moment. None of my successful runs have been with female cord. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that is true. I I think that's mostly coincidence. So, what do you guys think? Should I go with the cursed female corn, or should I go with the male corn this time? <laughs> Calling me a misogynist? No, I, I kill everyone equally. Come on. All right, let's 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 just. This is this is just how it normally is. I don't think I've done used this hairstyle before. Not that one. Not that one. This one. Uh, ha have I? I don't even remember. No idea how I've even used these hairstyles before. This one I don't think I've used. European Corin. Make it look like Cessna. <laughs> like this? With the cyan hair? <laughs> sure, why not? What is that even supposed to be? At two, okay. I'll give a scar. Oh As shit! A friend, you are That's a super chat. <laughs> Thanks, Moto, with an eighty dollars super chat. Back for another week of throwing money in my face. Zero, Camilo, Xander, and now is six feet under. Thanks, Nick Motor. Can always count on you. 
And Stephen Q with the as a, as the Hero King is your replacement. As a friend, you are replaceable. I'm assuming that's Marvin from the Farewell. Cena. Okay. Now Azura. Camilla. Niles. Wait, hold on a second. Uh, Death and Rage with a twenty dollar super chat to kill Elise. Got it. As a friend, you are replaceable. Uh, Midnight Fox seven four five with a five dollar super chat. Uh, to kill Odin. As a friend, you and it's are because replaceable. You couldn't keep him alive because he's the way Iron Man. So I guess uh, timeline stuff, huh? All right, hasn't even started yet. Not even, not even through character creation. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Okay, there's the bot. Okay, give me, give me a name, guys. Give me a name. It's gotta start with C. Conscious cold, come over. Corcus. Hey, is that that? Yeah, isn't that for Berserk? Desperation. Cauldron. <laughs> Calder, maybe. I think I've already done that. Cold star. Cope, car Carcass, Corruption, Setsuna, <laughs> Ketsuna. C? How do you even pronounce that? Kuh. Chili Dog. Sea Bat, Carcass, Coaches, Corp. We done cringe? I think so. Cold Gate. Cornef, Cork. Coco, Corn Dog, Carcase, Constellation, Cider, Carbuncle, Septo. Columbine. Oh, come on, man. Uh, Katsuna, Septu or Cheptu? Craig. <laughs> <laughs> cope collapse critical craggy Con convict cope carvin columbus kalir <laughs> kalir <laughs> I, I actually kind of like that <laughs> maybe let's go with that maybe kalir with our um, with our minty fresh protagonist. <laughs> As a friend, you are replaceable. Farewell. Oh, Stephen Q with a ten dollar super chat. Sedna and Laszlo to join Odin. It's a trio after all. Yeah, let's let's. They shall. Oh, they're all in seats here. Okay, let's go, Kalir. It's, not, it's something that could be a name, but it's actually just like a like a shit post reference, right? And that that's the best part about it. I won't say Colgate. Uh, Colgate was two runs ago, and Colgate died to Marth. <laughs> Colgate was murdered by Marth. Today is October the fifteenth, so I just want my. I want my. I would just want my Moonlight Tome. What is Kalir? It's reference to Alir, which is the uh, Alir, or whatever the 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 fire the toothpaste protagonist. That's a name. It's a toothpaste irreplaceable. <laughs> All right, let me think. Um. Only Corin. I feel like that would just be easy compared to like <laughs> whatever bullshit I've been doing. And it looks like probably not as good because without a healer corn, I can't grind the healer corn, right? I kind of want heal. So I probably will either go like, I will either go Travador or if I go on Miyoji, that's just kind of overpowered, right? I feel. Maybe I maybe I go strategist t this time. What do you guys think about that? Actually, hmm. Ten run, eleven runs is one easy to be a good thing. Great and master. Hmm. Actually, I'll 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 let you guys decide the the eventual promotion class. I'll put it to a vote. Wait, did, did this a Q and A option? What's this? Uh, I don't know what that means. Okay. So, uh, Corrin build. Actually, Corrin advanced class. That's more accurate. Let's see. Let's look. Let's list all. Let's, there's Butler. There's Strategist. I guess there's Onmyoji. And there's. Jane Snow does nothing? Excuse me? Are you saying the minus two damage on Minori is nothing? But yeah. <laughs> An Mioji and maybe like Adventurer. Like those are the old, those are all the staff using classes. Uh
Midnight Fox 745 with a 25 PON super chat. Good luck doing Valor alone. Gunter died because he's As old. A friend, you are uh, Farewell. Thanks for the super chat, but Gunter is unfortunately allowed specifically on that chapter just so I don't die instantly. <laughs> I, 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 sorry if I, if that was unclear. Oh, great master. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I have to let Gunter die later. It's not doable otherwise. But that's kind of contingent on the corn being good, right? If I have a really good corn, that can just overpower through it. But like, if I don't, I just die instantly, and that's no fun. So yeah, yeah. Butler shared this great master adventurer. I guess one great master, huh? That's not. That's not very good. <laughs> that is actually probably the worst about all of the all, the, all four of these options. I guess that's why you pick it, huh? <laughs> Yeah, Great Master is probably actually the worst of all three of these options. Renewal is broken? I disagree. I mean, having shurikens or tomes is As much a friend, better. You are replaceable. Farewell. Probably a filthy wig with 10 Canadians. I love Charlotte, so she's gotta die to be spared from this madness. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Goodbye, Charlotte. Great Master against counter magic? The counter magic and counter don't work against anything that's that's actually worth fighting. No boat, no no granas, no fun. Yeah, shame. Great master vine boom. <laughs> oh, that's the that's the moai head. Mm -hmm. At least I get a lot of strength, but I I only get these lances, and that's not really. Eh. It seems like it's gonna be have to be great master, huh? Do a second round poll? Like a runoff? Nah, I think it's pretty- the, the answer is pretty clear. Don't want me- don't want me to get- you want me to suffer? That's true. That is true. Gotta see Jenkins turn and engage, you missed him with three houses? Yeah! I mean, I think three houses, the structure, is just inherently kind of opposed to everything we know about Fire Emblem. All right, I I think the answer is clear. Only 128 volts out of however many concurrent viewers, but I mean, come on, it's like, it's how would I rank the weapon types and fates? I mean, shurikens are good, but they're not the be all end all, right? Because especially weapon triangle is very important. You can't kill Takumi with shurikens because you'll have like 28 hit. You need you really need to use everything. And sure, shurikens are great for like general use, but they're not something that will win you the game. You have to use everything else. Tomes are good though. Tomes are really good. Magic damage is really nice. Bows are actually pretty good too because there are a lot of flyers. And also because archers are a very good class line. Oh yeah, who would have thought? Every every almost every weapon is good. <laughs> oh, thick motor with a twenty dollar super chat. Oh no, Arthur slipped over twenty dollar bill. Truly unlucky. Yeah, seems like yeah. As a friend, what a shame. You are he was a good man. Farewell. What a rotten way to die. Where is it? Where's Arthur? There we go. Okay, let's 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 go, monk. I think the answer is clear. You guys wanted to see a great master. So let's go plus luck. Minus Plus luck minus what? What do you got? Minus skill. Let's 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 go plus luck minus skill. Let's adjust this thing. Monk. Return to monk, yes. Uh, male? It's a male plus luck minus skill monk. And the goal is to go into, uh, Greymaster. Luck is at least half skill. Uh... Let's say you want a different one. Counter in. It's a lot of different save files, huh? Oh, let's let's overwrite this one. That is happiness plus torch. Oh, Armis, thank you for becoming a member. I really appreciate it, man. You're not hurt, are you? And if you become a YouTube member, you can use emotes in the chat like the uh like the S rank throwing emote. 
And you can spam that whenever I throw, which is going to be pretty often. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's fight with Nor. So, I think this time, the early chapters are basically not worth doing. And also, uh, another thing is that I think I will change life insurance policy to something more useful, I guess. Because, like, 5k per death is not enough anymore. <laughs> and the, the goal of this run is to use every generic, right? Is to use the generics. If I can't use them, that's not really fun. 10k per death, that's one thing. I could do that. Another option I was thinking was, like, maybe just have it one, one life for one life. But I think maybe just having the money will be more interesting. Okay, let's, 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 I'll put it to a vote while I steam through the steam roll through the early game. Generics. Life insurance. 10k each or a soul for a soul. And a life for a life. Have you ever named a corner coincidence? Yes, I have actually. You guys want a life for a life, huh? I think I, I, either option sh it should be fine. Money means stat booster, so yeah, that's true. What about crouton? Maybe. I mean, if the if the answer if the option is too close, I'll just have it myself. Like if it's not like overwhelming, I'll just I'll just make a decision based on whatever I think is more interesting. Because ultimately, like that's the most more important thing, not something like democracy or like fair voting or. Things like that, you know. You have skybox for animations. Next neighbor convention. Democracy is cringe. <laughs> I love democracy. I lo especially love it when it does whatever I was trying to do originally. Oh, this is dead. That that's fake though. Yeah, I need to turn off animations. I I played through this chapter so many fucking times. I hate it already. What happened chapter twenty four? Uh, I got killed. I was killed. I was brutally murdered by Hanoka. Uh, Hanoka got her like got her seven kill streak and launched an attack helicopter at me, and I was just gunned down mercilessly. You should have to support to watch. Yeah, fortunately you don't have to watch it very long. Oh no! Wait! Hold on! Oh fuck! Hold on a second! Hold on a second! Uh, uh, wait, wait, how do I, can I kill her this turn? Fuck. Fuck! What's, what, what? Five, f okay, there we go. Okay, that was almost, that was almost a huge pain in the ass. S rank throw. Come on, that was a 78 and then a 50, that's... Actually, not 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 that bad. That's yeah okay. All right, yeah. Bounties are open, by the way. If you if you would like. Oh wait, fuck. I think I build the um. I don't think it really matters which one I use this time. I can you can do whatever. Luck, speed, luck, and moonlight. There we go. Uh, let's grab the amiibo items. I mean, like the uh, bonus items. 
the Dread Scrolls, the Dragon Herbs, the Evan Wings, and everything. And give me a moment. I gotta open up if each. Wait, where's Fire and Face Twiddler? Oh, fuck. Uh, I switched computers, and last time I used Fire and Face Twiddler was on my other computer. Give me a moment. Oh, shit. I need to, uh, download. I need to download my save editor. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm unprepared. I'm so fucking unprepared right now. <laughs> Yeah, last uh, last time we the last run I did, I, I started on my old computer, and now I no longer have it. Uh, uh this is very embarrassing. Um, uh, where the hell is my save file? Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh wait, hold on a second. I never mind. I just realized that I transferred hard drive, so it should be still here. Okay, I still have it. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I, I just forgot about it because, like, I transferred my hard drive that had all my files. And so it should still be on this one. And I just don't know where the save files are, though. Um. Wait, where the hell are they? Um. It's an, it's an app data, right? Uh. Uh. Citra. SDMC, Nintendo 3DS, 0000, title, extension data? Ah, oh, fuck, I just realized I saved in the wrong file. Wait a second. Title, which one was it? Ah, oh, fuck, I forget, I'm forgetting which... That's why I kept saving the first file, because that's where my save... Fuck. Where the hell is my save file? This is extensively embarrassing. I, I can't find my save file. I haven't edited it. What the fuck? Where the hell is it? Oh my god. Uh, oh wait, I just realized I can do this in Citra. Give me a moment. I mean, I need to, I just need to exit the emulator. I can open up the save file location. There we go, I got it. Just realized that this doesn't work, actually. I need to... I need to... Hold on a second. I, I, I need to... Oh, extra data save 01. Okay, this this run is so scuffed already. Extra data... It's, it's an extra data, okay. Extra data... No. User... Chapter 01. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. As a friend, you are irreplaceable. I think I got Farewell. it. Um, anyone who's super chatting right now, I'll get back to you after I finish fixing this. I'm very... This is so scuffed right now. Okay. Chapter 1. Okay, clear. I got it. Maximize all my resources. And now I just... I enable all the amiibo chapters. And now, um, I give myself gold in the convoy. There we go. All fixed. All fixed. Sorry, guys. Oh, Turtwig Lord 10 with a 7 with a $10 super chat to kill Kaze and Nyx. Kaze is too early and child murder is funny. Okay. Uh, Nyx isn't a child. She's actually a thousand years old. So it's, it's not... It's, yeah. The bot is still here. I don't see a bot. Ah, oh, man. Where is the hell was my 
thing. Okay. I don't see the bot. Oh, there it is. There's this. How am I giving myself gold? I got it. Okay. Do I have my stuff? That's the most important thing. I got it. I got my gold. So I think, uh... We're 11 is saved, yeah. So let's, we got Felicia dead now, I think. Wait, is Felicia dead? Is Felicia dead? Oh, Felicia's not dead. I mean, <laughs> normally everyone dies much earlier, but okay. So let me think. Um, Let's go and grab the DLC items first. Okay, what's the option? Like, life for life? Okay. Oh, thick motor with a $30 super chat to, uh, kill Felicia. Okay. Okay. Fine. As a friend, you are replaceable. Thanks, Very thick well. motor. Really appreciate it. You always got me. Let's grab the gifts from Anna. Paragon and boots. Very nice. I mean, it's always good to just get it out of the way, so I know not, not to plan around it, right? Let's get the, let's get the witch's mark. So one thing I was planning on doing is maybe try heading up the DLC maps early, so I can get certain items. I think like, what what was it? There was that uh, there was the Lawson Waves map, right? I think, I think this one, where you can do it in two turns. So I think I'll do, I'll, I, my rule was that I could do it once per run. So I'll do it to get Strand Taker. I shall tell you and if I die, I, the, run, the run doesn't end, I'll just like... If, the, if, if I die in this one, I'll, I, I will say the run doesn't end, I will just um, not, not, get the, not get the item. There's like, a small chance it doesn't work. Wait, let me, let me look up the strat again. <laughs> If he fades lost in the waves three LTC. No, wait. Lost in the waves three. Now heirs of fate. Heirs of fate three two turn. Clear. Because like this clear is like a bit um It's a bit unreliable, but not completely, right? So I think I go it's a Sugi onto Shiro. I go here. Here, unequipped by Jinto, and I you drop Shiro here. I mean, try so you hit there. The next next thing you do is um, what was it? Okay, so I think it's Rajat here on Kildori, and drop Rajat here, and then you put just put Midori here, right? I think that's it. If it doesn't work, well, I'm just fucking dead. <laughs> no, it's the waves. I think it's the last one. Yeah, never mind. It's it's here's the fate. Mighty Midori. Literally power of friendship, Lamo. Okay. So I think now the plan is to like, you need to hit with like, I forget the strategy actually. I think you, um, okay, I'm looking, I'm looking at the guide again. <laughs> it's I'm looking at the guide again. So according to the guide, here's what you do. You, would, you bring Midori up and attack with a, a Sugi for a pair up. Okay, Poison Strike activates, and then you attack with Kildori to finish him off. Probably the Steel Naginata or the Sword Catcher, depending on if you hit earlier. And then you pair Raja with Shiro and to finish off... Uh... Uh, what was his name? 
I forget. Leo's son. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I keep forgetting everyone's fucking name, man. Forest, yeah, Forest. That was it. Okay, Steel Shirk in here. I, I I never use any of these fucking child units, man. Give me a break. Okay. Hit. Hit. Very good. I'm here up here. I move up and I just kill. There we go. Now I got Shant Taker. I can give it to someone that's useless. I'll figure out candidate later. There we go. Easy Shant Taker. Do you of fate? No, just three for Shant Taker. We I think we, we agreed on it before. Oh, Mushroom Staff. Interesting. Give it to Hepto. That'd be kind of strong. I feel like we can't give it to anyone that's actually good. That would be against the point. It's got to be against all the worst possible person. Nori <laughs> on the mage? Strength taker on the mage? That's crazy. Who would have thought of that, huh? Konoi? Konoi already has it. <laughs> okay, so I think... Didn't expect that, did you? The, answer, the answer to the poll was I was pretty ambiguous. It was either like... Either life or life or whatever. So like, I think I'll just go 10k each. Or maybe life for life. I think I'll just go 10k each because it's it will be more stable with like just getting money for our buying stat boosters later in case of run fails. So let's let's grab Octu to beat the next map. That's a nice ten that's easy 10k. Life for life restriction about new generics I can buy. Uh it's less interesting than you think. Another option I can have, I guess. Drake Penvo, we need pass. I can use, actually use Effie this run. Effie is like 10 bucks. She's not gonna die instantly. Okay. 10k. So where's my generic funds? I have 10k, so... I'll, 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 I'll just... I'll just... <sighs> you obsessed with the idea of a second Hapto? I question the use and utility of it. But, hmm. Yes. It's not a bad idea, actually. Especially early on, right? Keep in mind, Hapto isn't strong necessarily just because of, um... Hapto pair with Hapto. Yeah, second Hapto wouldn't have nearly as many stat boosters. I guess it would be a good place to put all the remaining Dragon Straco shields. But maybe they're better used on like someone like Quattro, right? Because Quattro with more stat boosts could become legitimately formidable. Train Hep 2 in Chapter 7. Yeah, I think I'll just buy Octu just to beat the map really fast. Oh wait, maybe... Hmm... I just realized that maybe I can actually... Is there anyone live on this chapter? I guess Effie is... I guess I could probably make have Effie survive if I try really hard. Yeah, I'll, I'll decide later who gets the herbs because... Maybe Octu gets up, but he's too slow. Hero battle? Uh, not now. I need, I, I need to build up my, my roster first. Leash is undeployed, of course. Because, like, it's... And because... I have to undeploy her because otherwise I can't use the generic. I was doomed to FB calling it now. I mean, that's always gonna happen. Tempting fate doesn't change it. Silas is alive? Oh, shit. He is.
Okay, so Arthur has an axe. And wait. Force. Octo has 22 defense. He can just kill everyone. Yeah, I don't even need... I guess not the boss. Oh, shit. Stephen Q with a $10 super chat. Epi, more like dead V. Okay, fine. But, anyway, what I was thinking was... Maybe I could just kill everyone, actually. Friend, you are replaceable. But, uh, well. I could block off. I don't, uh, Octu is strong enough. They don't even need. I don't even need to, like, have Silas live. Actually, Sil Silas is alive. I he can fight. He's allowed to fight because he's technically alive right now. Oh, that's Arthur dead. Arthur's dead. Oh yeah, he, he's already dead. That's fine. Unequip Effie? Oh yeah, oops. That was not, yeah. Living is a binary state. <laughs> okay, let, let's unequip now. And let's just fight here. Tainted run. I want, I'm actually really curious to see if I can have... If I can have, uh... If I can... I'm really curious to see if I can get Silas to live. As long as the boss doesn't hit me, then I can kill everything, right? I'm not fast enough to dibble anyone, that's okay. 21 damage, easy. We said no. The boss is moving, that's fine. Alright, let's speed this up a bit. These guys literally cannot hurt me, no matter how hard they try. The boss might be in range though soon, so I need to be careful about that. But other than that, we should be okay. What? Oh, shield gauge, fuck. I know that Silas is a lizard man. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hmm. This is a problem now. Because... Octu needs to heal. I think Silas can live for one turn, maybe. No, he's gonna die. I fucked up. Maybe if I switch here to Elise, he, Silas can live for another turn. Deal with Elise? No, Elise is dead. I can't heal with her. Okay, no, nice. That, that blocked him off. Uh, I should have class changed Corrin so I could heal, but, um... Oops. I guess I just, I just didn't buy the item. Oh, if Effie's dead, and Elise is dead. Where's Elise? You think Silas is dead? I'm gonna save him. Just you wait. I can save him. If I transfer Corrin, and I value defense, and I heal with vulnerability, I can probably do it. All I need to do is beat this boss. And once I do, I can I can swoop in and rescue my guy. 
Once the boss goes down, Octu can just tank everything. Oh fuck, he dies anyway. Damn it! I was this close. Damn it! Fuck! I'm sorry. Free death, yeah. Shame. Dead Silas. Free Silas. That's fine. Okay. Well, at least... Yeah. Okay. So be it. Let's just kill everything now. If only Octu was strong enough to one shot, then maybe this could have worked, but alas, it was not to be. Why don't you try to get in characters off the ground? I mean, I, I would have liked to see... Oh, is that a raider knife? Hold on a second, that might be good. Plus three speed on a knife. That's actually really fat. That's really good. This comes gold from feeding the landlord. Why not Koran Dragonstone tank? Well, that's because Koran doesn't get to do anything. That's not legal. So, how many characters that is? That's four dead characters. So, I get 40k now. I get 40k to spend on generics. Have we got supports? Uh, Felicia's not dead yet, even though she should be. It's that you can't kill her off in early chapters fast enough. 40k. Nice. Now let's uh let's let's get a hepto back. <laughs> level level 18 hepto. And you also get trim back too. Maybe a quattro is probably better. Hmm. I think quattro should be reclassed into a paladin. Right now. I think I'll get these, just these two. Then maybe I can buy someone else to like... I can, oh, I, I can, I can trade my second half though now, actually. I can trade, I have three, I have 3k left to buy a second half toe or tri or quattro. What do you guys think? In class half for Luna, armor blow? Yeah, that's a, that's a great plan because keep, by the way, if half had armor blow, the QB would not have crit over 54 damage. He would not have died to the Red Heaven crit that killed Hepto last time. He would only have taken like 24 damage and he would have lived. Because you could. He pl uh, pl to whom he does not attack enemy phase in chapter 23. Armored Blow would actually would have saved Hepto if he had it. <laughs> Alright, it's pretty clear. Let's buy another Hepto. Let's train Hepto if we can. Maybe we keep the boots this time. Let's keep the boots. And so, and let's use the boots as an emergency thing later. Did I get Paragon? Yeah, I did. Paragon Hepto? Yeah, maybe we should. Uh, the other thing is that, like... Uh, let's, let's... Let's grab some money for the... For a Corrin's Heart Seal. I think that's free. Corrin's Heart Seal is free. Is Odin dead? Yeah. Odin's dead. Right, master time? No, monk time, I guess. Ret it's time to return to monkey. Uh, let's, let's get some heal staff. Let's buy a couple more heal staffs. I think that's, that, that's the plan. Maybe maybe some more actually. Actually, let's let's buy enough to cap out to get corn level twenty, and then probably even a bit more because Hepto is very high level, so he can. These guys are very high level. Uh, all right, we have enough to maybe. Let's let's go do Moses map. This is this is normal. Where we kill off Alicia. 
and we train. I guess we train like Hepto or something, right? Now is Hepto taking damage? Uh oh fuck. Yeah, you can't I can't get any heal XP. Oh fuck. Does interrupts I just no oh, fuck, I'm not getting any healing XP. Damn it. Are you I messed up. <laughs> I can't even get any heal XP. No one does any damage. They're all too strong. Fuck. No, wait. No, wait. The boss is 25. And Quattro has 22 defense. Okay, there, there's my heal XP. There's my, there's my heal XP. No, it's, it, it doesn't matter if Mozo gets hit. But she's level 1. I won't get any XP out of it. But yeah, okay. So Quattro can get it. Quattro can do it. Quattro can... No, most I'll get one XP each. It won't work. Uh. So yeah, let's kill Felicia, and let's try to train Hepto a little. But yeah, I think I'll have to heal on the boss with Quattro taking damage. Let's grab Mozu. Mozu lives. Oh shit, she's alive. Yeah, she is alive, right? She's an eight tier. Okay. Does everyone one-shot these guys? I think so. I can't train... I can't train the other Hepto very easily here. Felicia dead. Another 10k. Oh, actually, I already, I already got the money. I already got the gold. Mostly does count as generic. Very good point. 2 XP. I think, yeah, let's, for now, let's just kill everyone with Hepto. Well, I, I'll go and grab, I, I should actually try to rescue Mozu because she's technically alive. I'd equip aptitude for two generic Mozu. Okay, got Mozu. Yeah, so if I want to rescue Mozu, I need to hurry down. I got a lot of turns left. She was dead the second I started the map. I mean, she's not bountied yet, so she's fair game to use. Okay, if I can kill these guys, then I can I, I can lure them away from Mozu. Kana Gaming. Oh right, yeah. I guess I guess Mozu is available as a character. I mean, if I if I could use Mozu, I would win. If I if I can use Mozu, I can win the game. I can actually legitimately win the game because then I can I can I, I can use my 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 Mozu build to be able to kill Takumi in one round. Pair up attack. Let's go. Half the chat wants to kill Muzu. Turn my down, turn down my mic. No, this is normal, right? This is my normal volume. That makes it a little loud. I think actually maybe my gain is probably turned up a bit more than it should be. You're right. It's normally like 27, it's like 10 decibels higher than it should be. I don't know. I don't listen to my own stream as I stream. So, like, I'm not actually sure. I want to see if I can actually, like... I want to be able to, like, actually use Mozu, but the question is, like, can I, right? And then the answer is probably no. Don't know why I ever used named characters? Well, I, it's, it's about the... I, I, it's, it's a fantasy, right? It's just what I want to... I want to have it happen, even if it never does. More importantly, maybe I maybe I just train Hepto instead.
45 XP. How's, how's round 11 going? It's going pretty well. Pretty well, I'd, I, I'd, I'd say. Let's try to feed this one to Hepto. If I can. So I go here, I switch, separate. Mmm, second thought, bad idea. Wait, I just fucked up. I just fucked up, didn't I? Damn it, okay. I'll just have corn, corn body block. With the Hepto pair up. Wait, what? Oh, that's the wrong Hepto! Fuck! Wait, he lived? How the fuck? What? Huh? I got conf- wait! I thought that was a stronger Hepto! What the hell just happened? He shows promise. Indeed he does. His- the spirit is strong. Do this Hepto? It's the other Hepto. Harab saved him. Yeah, he got the kill, I think. That's why he's, he lived. Defense plus two, and now he's basically invincible. Hepto hit him with a dollar store faceless punch. Uh, two plus however much. There we go. Yeah, I guess even if he's level 1, Hepto is still strong. This is young Hepto. By every logic, he'd be stronger. <laughs> that is true. This is literally Awakening. This is literally the plot of Awakening. Second gen Hepto. The thing is, the funny thing is that literally any actual unit will be better than is probably better than even half of my like actual generic units. Like like Laszlo is like better than Goro, period. For, for example. It's not even funny how bad the generics are, aside from the ones that I fed all the stat boosters to. Uh, this is actually a bit inconvenient. I think I go here. Hepto kill. Hepto is not in range. So Mozu kill. Then I shelter to rescue. Having more than one class here is a heck of a drug? Yeah, who would have thought? Who would have thought that, that having more than one class would be beneficial in this game? Okay, there we go. I mean, if no one's paid for Moose, I'll just keep using her. He's Moose is better than any generic, no matter how hard you like. Because keep in mind, Moose literally has like <laughs> Moose literally has generic stats to start with, right? And that's one of the main problems of having generic is that they have really shit starting stats, so they can't get off the ground. Are you Paragon yet? Not yet. Don't don't pay for Mozu. This isn't reverse, reverse psychology. Maybe I should codify it just so you can't guys can't kill Mozu. But I don't know, that that's that's a bit that's a bit too much favoritism. Should be a faceless in the bottom right corner. Oh, I missed that one. Okay. Thanks for the catch. That would have been Actually I'll I'll, I'll just leave him there for now. I can I can get him anytime I want. In the meantime, let's 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 get hit by... Ah, the other knight is not in range. Let's go.
Maybe we, we could get the Kana. That might be nice. Three damage, okay. Yeah, I I could have I can grant support this chapter. Stephen Q with a twenty dollars super chat. Now that I put all the XP into Mozu, kill her. Okay. Fine. Come on, man! I was, I was, I was, I was, I was getting all excited for plans for the future and everything. Dead. Okay. In the meantime, heal grind. Let's go. Wait, how much hit does this guy have? Not that much, I guess, right? Fifty-seven hit. Oh, this is this is gonna be a a long time, huh? This is gonna take a very long time. Does does Hepto die in one hit? He does. Mozu no tier next time. No, I shouldn't do that. Yeah, Hep the other Hepto dies in one hit. I think we might win this run anyway, so it's probably fine. The point was to have a super chat right before the S support. Last time I have it right after the S support, so. And then kinda dead anyway, so. You have try have Octo take a hit. Yeah, I guess Octo has the same amount of defense, and he has less less avoid. I, I can try that for a bit. Have to have to pair up? Plus 5 defense? Actually, yeah, he won't die in one hit. That would make sense, but it's, it won't give me enough XP anyway, so it's, it doesn't really matter. This next level boss abuse. Yeah, let's... Yeah, I think this is actually a bit more better for a while. I can probably get to level 20 or pretty close to it. Probably luck, very good. I'm curious, how much XP am I getting here? Like 14 XP? That might be not that not that might not be enough. Yeah, only 14 XP. How much does Hepto give? I don't know how does Quattro give? Quattro gives 14. Okay, hmm. I guess I'm just overthinking things. I think it's... Mm, it probably depends on the internal level. Like, this squad is like technically level 19 internally. And this one is like 25. I can probably only get to level 20 easily. After that, it, uh, it really starts to fall off. Sure, boss and men's staffs to make it get faster, but... I think heal staff is still more economical. I think someone was already doing making a branch. And yeah, I think someone said that they were gonna make a mod for this, but like who knows how fast it's going? Who knows if it will ever be presentable, right? That's always I don't I don't know. I'm not I'm not involved in it. But if it happens and it's interesting enough, I'll show I'll showcase it. Just because it's it's like I don't normally do mods, but like if it's something made specifically for me, right? I feel like I, I should at least give it a look. Right, this, gonna, this might take a while, but we're pretty close already. We're already level 13. We don't need to go that far. The other thing that we get out of this is a huge amount of staff rank. Yeah, that's very nice. Maybe we should have any idea of modding. I've looked into it. I've tried my hand at it. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's so much work. Like, I have like anything. I've thought about it, but I think I'd just rather make videos. Personally. I think he's like, I, 
if I had no other ideas, I might try doing like a mod showcase, but like I got too many other things on my plate right now. Well with like I need to I need to I need to get back to Fire Room 7. Mushroom staff? What the hell is that? Oh. I need to I need to get back to Fire Room 7. Oh fuck. Fire Room Engage is coming up, so I need, I need to work on that soon. I need to summarize this in its entirety at some point. Probably in like a I don't know. I got too many projects that like I'm slacking on, right? Like this week, like I don't know. I feel like I lost my, my momentum in a lot of ways. Like before, I, be, I I for the past few weeks, I have not been putting out daily, and that's kind of disappointing, really. I normally I normally have better output than this, but like it's just sometimes like I've been doing too many scripted things that take more than one day to finish. Burnout? No, it's just that like I'm not burned out. It's that I don't have a clear go ahead of me. And some scripts I've written just haven't really worked out. I'm still working, and I'm still working hard, just that, like, some of the ideas aren't flowing as easily anymore, right? So, once I get back to FE7, once I get back to FE7, hard, Hector Hard Mode, minimum ranks, like, once I finish, start recording again, it should be easy. Because the thing is, like, for things like that, I can offload the work between sessions and they're clear defined things i can record it now i talk about it later whereas for like a scripted video like it's not the the balance trees aren't nearly as distinct also non-fire content i mean i i could do it you just wouldn't like it very much <laughs> because like i'm not nearly as like, well i'm not nearly as well spoken on topics that are not fire emblem right and I'm not nearly as knowledgeable, so it just won't be as fun. Both for me and for you. Every Fire Emblem content creator, for the most part, well, 99% well, that's ever tried to branch out, has had trouble converting their audience. And I don't, I'm not, I'm not particularly confident in my own abilities to do that either. Advance Wars? Advance Wars is, is I, I'll play it when the remake comes out. Other than that, like, I've, I've already shot my shot for that, like last year, and the audience for me specifically wasn't there. Because like, I don't like playing advanced for single player. Why diverse seventy come just down down to algorithm? No, that that's that is a horrible way of looking at things, and it's so it's so incorrect. It's so you're so baffling correct that like I I can't I can't I can't express it in words. I'm not- I'm not just appealing to the algorithm, I'm appealing to the audience, right? The alg- like, people blame the algorithm for their problems, it's such a cop-out. That's such a cop-out. You're being so reductive. Saying the oh, just appealing to the algorithm, not appealing to my audience. It's literally just the people who want to watch, right? And the simple fact is that, like, when you diversify, you have to be up to par on everything else, too. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to make different videos, right? You also have to have the skills and knowledge that accommodate it. That's the thing, right? What, what the advantage of Fire Emblem is that it's a niche and people will enjoy the content. But when I go out of the niche, my skills and are not up to par with the rest of the competition. To be completely honest, that's what happens when people try to diversify. They 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 try to go into a different field, but they don't have the proper skills to actually differentiate themselves in the field. And so then they wonder, oh no, why is my, is my diversification not working? No, it's because you're shit at making videos. People only watch you despite your shit at making videos because it's in a specific niche. That that's why it's not working. You're just not good enough at making videos. It's not YouTube's fault. It's not. It's not. It's not your viewers' fault. It's your fault. <laughs> Am I okay? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I I just I just love ta talking passionately about things. You feel like you're getting targeted anger? No, I don't even watch other FE tubers. What am I getting angry about? I'm getting angry about uninformed people in the chat. And you, I think I actually just I just love being outraged. You know. 
I actually just love being outraged. And I feel like I, I, I do that to hype myself up for stuff like this, right? I, 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 because one of the best ways to get into something is to make yourself passionate about it. And one of the best ways to do that is to like intentionally rile yourself up. This is like my content strategy. I get myself angry and that gets me passionate and that makes me more motivated to do things. It's, it's, it's manufactured anger, right? And one of the best ways to do that is to like victimize yourself. And I, I do that all the time. And it's very, it's very enjoyable, right? When, 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 when you play Fire Emblem, you can, you, 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 you can portray yourself as the victim to yourself. And then that's like, that's something that works. Victim Blum. <laughs> okay, I, I guess, I don't know, I probably shouldn't let people peer behind the veil too much. Because that, that kind of reduces the appeal, you know? Oh, okay, we're almost level 20. Level 20. Nice. Is deep emotional storytelling? <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, Corrin's strength growth is so shit. That's actually amazingly bad. But I think one of the great pleasures of streaming is just to yell at people in the chat for being uninformed monkeys, you know? Because that's ultimately what the point of being in chat is, right? To like, to like, it's just sling shit. And then it's, it's a streamer's responsibility to dunk on them for the, for the benefit of the chat. I feel like it's like it's 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 my moral obligation to do that. Never, I never yelled at you. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. I, I feel like it's it just it helps you get more involved, right? Otherwise, like, if I don't have anger, right? What else do I have here, right? I guess I do have other forms of indignation, some kind of like shock, surprise. But like, I'm not the kind of person that can just like, be unabashedly positive. I'm a contrarian in nature, and the best way to channel that in a stream is to be really angry. You know? But not like... Like, I don't like fake my anger, that's the thing, right? But like, it is manufactured, but it's not fake. You have a parasocial relationship with you guys? Hell no. I- 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 I'm- I don't- I don't have my Patreon Discord. I don't have a, I don't have a Discord. I don't offer anything for my Patreon, right? I just like I I probably I don't have a very parasocial to any of you guys. The only time I talk to you guys is now. <laughs> I mean, I I don't have my I don't have my Patreon only Discord full of my parasocial Discord kittens, you know. You you need on a pitch Discord. I- I think... It, no. Tier 3 sub for my chat. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm getting so indignant over nothing. But I feel like that- that's something I- I should do more often. Let's get more angry. He's like fire and funny? Same. Okay. Uh, we got 10k. Fake angry? I'm like- I'm like fake real angry most of the time. You like anger at least to draw apart my content? No, okay, that's fair. Where's all my money? Huh. Okay, so we got 10k. It's not about feeling better. It's, not, it's just about feeling something. That's the only thing that matters. Uh. Okay, so we need to train someone. Epang. Okay, so we got 10k. I think we buy Epe and then we try to beat uh you enjoy the eloquent bashing of a fire fan trace from a fire fan. That's one of my more, more, more definitely one of the more enjoyable parts. I I enjoy just like I don't know how to describe it. And let's sell the boots and maybe let's sell after buying six seal salves. That is true. That is actually all literally my fault. 
Maybe I do chapter 8 before I do, uh... Ugh. Right. Uh, I don't know. I, I can do chapter 8 right now, or I can do it after I buy Ipe. But yeah, I think it's more about, like... I don't hate Fire Emblem, right? Keep, keep this in mind. I don't hate Fire Emblem. I don't, I don't even dislike it. It's one of my, it's my most favorite games. But, like... It's just enjoyable, I think, to, like... Portray it in the least, um... In the least... In the least charitable way possible. I think that's, is that in itself is really enjoyable. Let's sell this dagger and let's buy Ipe. Well, um... But yeah, like Puni things is fun. I enjoy that for its own sake. Let's buy Ipe. He's unmasked shit post emblem. Dragon Herb Ipe for sure. I think maybe I actually should Dragon Herb Quattro, really. He's very close to his strength cap. Hmm. Because like Ipe, he's not that good. The wish map too, yeah. Okay, let's. I actually don't have any weapons. Wow. So, hmm. Ipe kind of needs it. Hmm. The other, I think maybe I save it for Minori actually, or like Trim. I don't know because it might be better use on my witches actually. But yeah, I think Quattro will probably use it best because I want it to be much faster. It's not about the magic; it's about the skill and everything else, and luck and everything. Honestly, I think we just we gotta give it to Quattro. I think it's probably better. Oh, he says his speed is capped. Uh, I guess I need to... Uh, I messed up a bit. I probably should reclass the Paladin first. Yeah, I'll, I just gave it to Quattro. Okay, now let's do some more DLC maps, I think. So... I think... Wait, maybe I... I might need a Javelin for the... DLC map. No, wait. I, I have the hand axe. He just used hand axe here. Yeah, let's try before awakening so we can get the uh, great lord and other thing. The other other weapon. Oh, wait. I just realized great lord is a female only class. Oh, I just realized I can make Kono into a great lord. That, that might be fun. <laughs> Oh no, he can be a great lord. No one else- I don't think anyone else can be. But I don't know, it's- Thing is, like, whatever people say, at the end of the day, the only thing that really matters is, is motivation. As long as you want to do something, you can do it well. That's the only thing that really matters. And, and like, anything anyone ever tells you, like, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter no matter what anyone tells you. You you just gotta stay motivated to do things. And you can do whatever you want to, to make that happen. It doesn't matter. And, and anything you do is just a way to get motivated. And that's all you need. Aside from that, like, who cares? And, and you can have any source of this that you want. We, we can talk to... Virtual moment. <laughs> Locks fourth time? Yeah, I'll try doing that. The ninjas... Actually, I can one-shot the ninjas this time. So it shouldn't be that bad. They got poison strike, but they can't even hurt me, right? Right? If I just, like, go here and equip my... Hand axe and I just kill them, they can't do anything to me, right? Like, last time Hepto died, but, like... I mean, n nothing happened last time, but here, like, it should be fine because it got 46 defense. Yeah, it's so good to play this map for the first time ever. The world of it to YouTube as a hobby? Hmm, I wouldn't recommend- <laughs> I wouldn't recommend you doing YouTube as a hobby. 
Because, like, really, it's like... There are better returns on most things than YouTube. Oh, is Crumb gonna get himself killed? Not yet, okay. In hunting Invisible Warhogs again? What do you mean again? I've never done this before. What are you talking about? Let's heal, Krom. You don't need returns for a hobby? That is true, but like... Even as a hobby, like, you, you, you need, like... You need something out of it, right? You can't just do nothing for nothing. You'll, you'll go, you'll, you'll go crazy. At least I would, right? <laughs> but I, I can only speak for myself. Or having a fever dream right now? I, I don't know. Invisible warthogs, huh? Crazy. Damn it, Crumb, don't get yourself killed now! Damn it, Crumb! Lissa, no! I don't even... Fuck! This is crazy. Is Lissa dying in one hit? No, not actually not in one hit. But not, not that far away from it either. Paid up too much. Yeah, I messed up. Okay, here's the plan. I go here. Epto kills. And I transfer here. And I switch. And I get another kill. Very good. Now these guys, they do 20 damage. Uh, but here I can kill too. There we go. Okay, now they attack Fred. That's fine. He basically one-shots them. Okay, we got it. We got it. We beat the map. Don't fight the boss, Crom. No! <gasps> Holy fuck! You almost fucking... Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Crom almost killed himself with the counter. Yo! That was so lucky. That was so lucky. Wow. What was no? Alright, we got the stuff. Exalt's brand and hero's brand and a pebble. <laughs> right. Very good, very good. So we got the stuff. Maybe I can make Capito into <laughs> Maybe I make Capito into a hero into a load star. <laughs> that might be interesting. What do you guys think? Now do the witch map? Yeah. I can do the witch map for the teleporting item. Like, E-play the load star. That might be actually better, actually. That might actually be better. Actually, no. It's not better at all. Because hmm. I think I want E-play to get... Uh, sword fair first. But maybe Hepto is a load star. Because he's basically a lord, right? Build, let's build the stuff first. Uh, okay, let's go to um. Maybe Jataro is not. I think J I want Jataro as a sniper and everything. So let's before that let's let's do the witch's trial. I think we get another witch's mark from this, which is great. But more importantly, we get, um... More importantly, we can, uh, get... Uh, the teleporting item, so it should be fine. I just realized that without a javelin, this might be a bit painful, because I have weapon triangle disadvantage against witches. But it's probably okay. 
I just need to camp around th these guys. Around the spawn area. And yeah, things should be okay. Why you never wish kinda? What do you mean kinda? What are you trying to say here? What could you possibly mean? Generic witch, kinda. No, I, I, know, I know what you're going for. Do we get to kill Anna at this level? Oh yeah! We can recruit Anna and kill her. Wait, fuck? Wait, what? No! They're teleporting! Oh fuck, this is bad. Oh damn it, this is bad. Yeah, this is the problem. They're just teleporting everywhere. I think as long as you're not you're not you're not, you're not, you're not named Corn or Hepto, you're probably okay. But as like the other Corn, other Hepto, I think I gotta like I gotta pair up to avoid them being killed. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Oh man. I think the witch is actually kind of weak compared to like... Oh, they don't attack, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Oh wait. They can save their action? What? That can't be legal. They can save their action? You can't do that as a player. It's crazy. Yeah, it's cheating? Actually, yes. They actually are cheating. Wow. Why does Ipe do so, do so little damage? That's insane. They're playing a different game. They are. What early promoting does to a motherfucker? Yeah. Man, these guys are actually pretty menacing to my normal guys. I should not have to play this all these characters. Oh my god. I'm getting... I have like promoted level... I have promoted guys and they're getting wrecked by, no, by literal level 8 generic witches. That's actually... That's not... That's not even funny. That's just stupid. Okay, I'll, I'll run away here. Run away. I don't have any voter race. Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking die. No! Oh my god, this is crazy. I don't have any voter race. Oh my god. Yeah, this guy does zero damage, actually, I think. I think it's a weapon triangle, and also Wimber Slayer. He has no other weapons. Oh, it's a Javelin, though. That will do some damage. Javelin, how much damage does that do? So he's got Wimber Slayer, which is 9 might. Actually, it'll probably do around the same amount, like like 1 damage or 2. Dread Scroll? I don't want a Dread Scroll, Ipe. The Witch does 20 damage, so 20... 7 damage, and then pair up. Actually, not pair up. I think we should probably be okay, actually. I think they teleport first. Oh, yeah, they're all teleporting to Hepto. That's good. Look, they can damage Hepto? Two damage. Crazy. Lunged. This is actually insane. I can't believe I'm, I'm like in in like at risk of dying from this map. That's insane. I can't believe it. These guys are level eight.
Watch the boss, but then I don't, I don't get teleported. And that's like the whole point of being on this map. If I stop the reinforcements, I don't get teleport. That's my only whole point. At, the only reason I'm here. Like, if I do that, like, what's even what's even the point of coming to this map? Okay. I think actually we're safe now. I I've I've gotten everyone out of the way. These guys are not all like not fighting. Which turn is it? Turn seven. I think I need to go to turn eleven for this to work. Oh my god. I'm having a heart attack. Kill Anna for the greater victory. Yeah, I, I, I can kill Anna for more money. That would be good. Yeah, we got it. Better kill Anna for the boss. Oh yeah, I need to... Oh man. They're gonna, they're gonna teleport. The knights, the knights are gonna teleport to me. The knights are gonna have their launching platform for the wishes. Unless I kill them all this turn. Maybe I can actually. I can probably. I can probably one round most of them. If I double here, that's plus two strength. So plus two is 24, 28, just not enough. I can probably. Do a bit of damage, which again, not enough. Um, I really don't want those witches teleporting on me. I should roll Corrin. Uh, I don't have any money for the Master Seal. Oh man. I can't believe I'm getting cornered by <laughs> fucking. by these fucking guys. It's. it's it's just it's it's too stupid to to fathom that this could happen, but it did. Yeah, I think I just put corn on oxygen run away. I put, go and range my other guys in the hopes that this works. I, I, I think they teleport first. Oxygen has trample. Oxygen does not have trample. No, no. What? Ah! Why are they doing this? Ah! Going fucking insane. Hit the accessory rimmed glasses. What the hell? Accessory? <laughs> what? Why are these DLC maps so hard? Fucking conquest, man. Okay, N now, now we got it. Now we got it. There's the warp tome. Maybe, so, who, who gets the warp tome? Should I just give it to Hepto so I can have, like... <laughs> so I can have warp powder Black Knight shenanigans? That might be interesting on its own. Hepto? Yeah, I think it's gotta be Hepto. I need all the advantages I can get. Warping general, yeah. It's Black Knight time. It's, it's, it's warp powder time. Hepto warp. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's go Hepto warp. I do not gain XP. No, you, you don't get anything on DLC maps in Conquest. You get nothing uh, aside from the items. Now, Conquest specifically for busy of getting XP outside of like on paralogs and everything. Oh fuck! This guy does not. The guy does a lot more damage than I thought. Hmm. So not enough to kill me, but that was a bit worrying. I didn't read that. I didn't read. You get XP on X X grinding map, yeah, but not nowhere else do you get anything. Okay, uh, let's let's move away. I don't want Hepto to die against the boss because that would be hilariously sad. That would be so sad. I can't. No, I can imagine it. It just it just would be depressing. 
It's not like unfathomable. It's just very stupid. And I just hope that I don't. That doesn't happen. Okay. Oh man. Man, these guys like it's. It's so frustrating how like I don't just like win. I should be able to steamroll these guys with my level 20, with my level, like, cap defense unit, but I, I just can't, still. They could've killed her, but then, like, if I miss, I just die. I don't want to take any risks anymore. Especially on these maps, like, why should I take a risk on this map on Chapter 8? I, I shouldn't do that. Invest in another year. Which is more, okay. Stretch my stretch volume, yeah. How dare they? How dare you? Okay, let, let's give Hepto a warp. Hepto warp, let's go. Oh, which, I guess Pavias is kind of bad. Let's get rid of it. Uh, do we have any more money? Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six characters dead, right? Am I missing one? Okay, no, we're, we're good. Paragon level 18 promoted. It's still necessary, I think. I want to level up so I can get... um. I want to level up to get Armored Bull on Luna. Update Hepto, right, right. You're right. I'll take this one and update the, 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 the real one. You have to the glasses too. I don't think they show up. Do they? I don't know how to customize. I don't have the accessory shop yet. Just hard to have to. I, I'll do that when he's closer leveling up. Right now, I don't have the money. So um, yeah. Let's let's just sweep through chapter eight. It should be easy. You need a monitor to make them show up. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Let's be chapter 8 really fast. Oh nice, I have full deployment. It doesn't matter. This map is so easy now, it doesn't it really does not matter how, how I play it anymore. Got some money. No matter what I do, I can beat this map just with a Kepto. I could train someone else if I want to, but I could also just not. Maybe I should I should train Hepto. I could give him the other paragon. I'll just do it. You said the link. I don't. I won't. I won't have time to install a mod on stream. We have Odin and Niles, and they're both dead, right? They're both dead, right? Yeah, they're both dead. Up to. Hep 2 or Hep 2? Hmm. Hepatitis B? <laughs> now Hep 2 is gonna die? No, he's just fine. Come on, like, er everyone else is too strong. There's no way he dies. It's impossible. I'm, like, barring exceptional circumstances, like me being stupid, right? Which is shockingly plausible, but. Oh, uh oh, fuck! Damn it! Okay, we're still fine. I can transfer here. We're good. We're good. Corn gets hit, but Corn is level 20. Corn can't die instantly. Let's go here. Start. Wow, I missed that. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to think. Let's we'll grab this village and then grab the other ones. So we have enough money to buy heart seals and everything. Wait, actually, I don't even have any more heart seals. Actually, just realized I don't have any more heart seals. Let's kill this guy.
Chapter 9 has one. Yeah, but like, I can't buy anymore for a while. So I guess I gotta actually play the game. It's horrifyingly. I gotta play the game to like, progress. Imagine that. But yeah, I think I'm gonna try to hurry through all these early chapters as fast as possible. Because they're not really as interesting anymore. He's like, yeah, like, is it really that interesting to be chapter 10 with everyone with the cap stats? Like, come on. That's that's a bit too much, right? That's, a bit, that's asking a bit much. Oh, I didn't get the village yet. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, wait, I need, I need to get these guys killed off. Uh, I guess I forgot to unequip. That's okay. It's not like it matters at this point. Kill. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. It's more interesting to lose chapter 10 with these generics. Uh, that's... Again, that is extremely plausible. More than I would like. That's more plausible than I would like. Odin dead? Okay. Niall's dead. Ah, uh, this guy is trying to take the village. Gotta stop him. My aching blood? No. <laughs> oh, he's a lot, lot more aching than the blood right now. Am I to die in chapter 11? That would be crazy. Imagine if I could lose, like, an overpowered generic in Chapter 11. That's impossible. It can never happen. It can never happen. The joke is that it actually did happen. But, uh... Okay, last village. Now let's clean up here. Hmm, I probably shouldn't have given this to Hepto. Probably should have given it to like a healer. Because like I giving XP to low level units is such a pain in the ass. I question if I should even do it. Maybe I can just wait till, till later chapters. Like, because like I don't want to play. I don't want to play these early chapters anymore. That's the thing. Like they're just such a. So, such a slug. Or defense, very good. I see he's learning well. Don't want to play other chapters? Don't want to play other chapters? Simply win. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't argue with that logic because it is... It is true. But like... <sighs> skill proc, no skill issue here. Okay, let's heal here. Attack here. And then I kill with Hepto here. There we go. Then I body block with the other Hepto. You capture generic soldier in this game? Basically, you can capture most characters. Yeah. HP lo- Okay, that's not very good level up. That's okay. Alright. I can probably get to level 20 and just have a decently... I think my current Hepto is only like level... Or was promoted at level 10. Right? Or level 12 or something like that. Oh! Octu can't even use Moonlight? Wow. That's impressively bad. I didn't train any... I didn't train any magic. Okay. Let's warp.
I think if I do a pair of he thing here, I can get a bit more, like, I can get XP anyway. And that's probably good enough for a while. Oh, they're moving in. I think you gotta have, like, Shield Gauge activate before you get Dual Strike XP. Morphing General is so cursed. Isn't that literally the Black Knight? That's literally what the Black Knight does. Let's clean up. We didn't dawn is a curse game. When he uses the strongest one, it's probably Hapto. He's got 46 defense, you know, casual. Casually, ca just a casual 48 defense. Yeah, I think here's the plan. I attack here and then I do a pair up attack to, to kill. Kill the boss. 28 damage, very good. I equip the lance and I pair up attack with a guaranteed hit. The kill. Oh, fuck! Wait! Oh, Vantage. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Okay. <laughs> Hefto 2 is dead. What a waste of time. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm fumbling with stuff right now. It's like a bad ordering of things. That's a dead Hepto. Can't believe it. That was so stupid. I can't believe it. Oh my god. That was the worst as the thing has ever happened. Okay. As a friend, you are replaceable. Farewell. Let's... A thick motor with a 30 euro super chat. Kills Ike in protest. Yeah, I think it's just a mistake to try to train your Gunu units at this point. Oops, wrong one. Thank you, thick motor. That's a dead Ike. Guess he wasn't the Paragon overall. Oh man, that's... Yeah, uh, that's sad. Yeah, we got... Another 20k. To buy generics with. Stream's over? No. No. We're, we're still going. So we got another 20k to buy units. Konoe? Let's buy Konoe. 7k. I got 13k left. Uh, let's get Zestu, I think. Maybe Zestu and like... F3? Hmm. Maybe even Nori. Oh, that's not, not that one. Goro near Doroki? That's true, yeah. Goro, and then... Maybe Zestu. Yeah, I think, I think this is good for now. Got the weapons. Let's give Hepto more talismans so he can, he can, he can mage tank much better. And once he, if he casts his magic resistance, we stand a good chance of actually just straight up beating chapter, like, we can just beat chapter, um, chapter 25, just with, just with only Hepto, I think, if we have enough magic resistance. That is doable, I think. Talisman, and then, then... So maybe the other thing we can do is like instead of Konoe being a flyer, we can we can give her the Exults brand, become a great lord. That gives her more strength. And surprisingly good actually, I think. 
Not yet. Yeah. I think after after chapter 10, we can do it. And this lottery shop. The cockchain. Okay. You just Lucina's right. Yeah, actually. Okay, let's let's do chapter nine really fast. Yeah, I think I need I need to I need my characters to stay. This is actually perfect the perfect appointment. Uh, now that I think everyone died, right? Uh, training training what training anyone on this map is useless. So let's just steamroll it. He's like everyone right now is too high level to make take make, take use of this. So let's let's just most well adjusted Konoe user. No need to throw over content. Yeah, let's let's not train anyone. Let's let's just beat the map and then we can beat chapter ten. We, I I think we just we just need to do the maps a lot faster now because. As we progressed, the early maps have become less interesting. And that, that's a fine progression for things to take. Be careful what happens to leveling up. I, you get 2x per kill right now, so it's okay. There's not enough ma enemies on the map to make him level up yet. So once, yeah, I plan to get me kept into a great knight, then back into a general once he gets armor blow. Alright, we got Nyx. Uh, now we can kill Nyx because she's bountied, right? Yep, she is. Why don't we want him to level? Not yet. We want him to level, get to level 20 as a Great Knight. Make her fire. Ah, I think we're fine. Don't worry about it. I mean, let's... Uh, stuff goes to the convoy anyway. It's not like it matters that much. Perfect level 20 pin, yeah. Okay, let's keep going. You, you didn't know that? That unit enemies go to the convoy? Well, I guess that might be your problem for playing with your characters alive, right? There are things, there, there are things that Jedi wouldn't tell you. Did I build Uno or Goro? Yeah, I brought Goro. I don't think Uno has locked touch. He's just a dread fighter. He was a like a dread. He was a samurai or something to start with. Uh, dead Nyx, very good. Oh, actually, I forgot to mark the Odin dead. And Niall's dead. Okay. All right, let's keep going. There's money. Very good. Uh, let's just have Lucina die already. I, already. I have lock touch. It should be fine. Get core and close and emulation. Uh, you can, but you have to be more clever with it. Maybe it's like saviors. Otherwise, it's very hard. Get it in. It's a huge pain in the ass, basically. And also, I don't really like the idea. Chords too OP. The like, thing is, every corn has like good stats in every stat, right? No matter what, they're at least they're better than most units. Period. Nice, Lucina. Oh damn, this guy's coming around. Okay, let's let's keep cleaning up. Kill Hitaka. I, I need to clean the map so I can get the items. The item is more important than the XP right now. 
Because, like, anyone who can get XP... It's not worth it right now. It's really not worth it. Because I can just, like... It'll be faster to get to a later chapter. And then get the XP there, I think. Like, chapter 16 is a great, great place to level up. For anyone. Because I can, like, dual strike to get the kills. Even Goro then? Yeah, give me a moment. I want it to be completely safe first. Artsio? Okay, I, I can I can read class chapter right now. Stats are a bit worse, but that's fine. Oh, I'll get them back when I when I read class again. Yeah, I, High Tycho only gives like 2 XP, it doesn't matter. I think I'll use the Mastery over Chapter 10 to normal Corrin. Because otherwise, like, it's not really much use. For that Master Seal. And if I buy it, that's money wasted. How to I can use swords? Yeah, actually, that would be great against Takumi. Because, like, swords are just. Too many, like, Takumi is a green, has bows, which are a green weapon. And, like, fighting, I need, I need every scrap of hit I can get, so I probably need to have, I don't want Hepto, like, I need Hepto as general for, for most challenges, just for the defense, I think. But, like, in, in earlier maps, I don't know. Actually, against, um, like, uh, Kotaro, I could probably use axes, right? I'm gonna use inter internal seals and Giga Chat Hep, so I could think about it. I could use it, use my spare funds for it. That might be a thought. Can we get another 20k? Well, then. Uh, we could do it, but like, I'm not sure if we should, right? Chapter 10 user now? Of course it is. Like, come on. Like, like look, look at my guys. All right, let's let's buy. Can I buy a trim. Maybe we get Trim. Or we can either get Trim or, or Minori. I think we should just get Trim. Trim's faster now. Trim's better. It's, it's also a flyer. Let's update Tepto. I don't think I don't think anyone else leveled up, so we're okay. And I think let's let's use the uh item we get in this map to promote. What if any DLC class would be good for Hepto? Uh, I think any, most of them could be, right? I should update life insurance? Oh yeah, I think I changed it to 10k. You're right. Okay, there we go. Let's do chapter 10. Hopefully we can do it really fast. I, actually, maybe I should, I, should, I should try to... I should go aim to t kill Takumi. That would be good. The boosts are infinitely better than the Shura? It depends on what, what you're doing, really. Shura is actually a good unit, so, um, warp, warp and kill him. Are the reverse triangle weapons available? Yeah, there's a dual club, but that's, that's the only one. Nothing else is. We have almost a full deployment, but I think we can afford to go a man down, really. Because, I mean, come on, like, come on. It's, it's, it's overwhelming, the amount of advantage I have. No, I don't even need to buy weapons. Okay, this should be easy. But yeah, I think let's let's warp. Let's warp to Takumi and kill him. Oh, well, actually, Korn doesn't have a weapon. <sighs> let's give him a Brass Naginata. Go here, grab the weapon. Um. Set the flyer down. This really should be easy. Like, there's no way this goes... Actually, I don't have any javelins. That's a problem. <laughs> That's actually a humongous problem. Hold on a second. Oh, man. I should have bought weapons. Why have I not spent any of my money? Fuck. Fades Village Jigger NPC is pretty. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a great design. Hubris? Also true. What? Master Seal, very good. Let's 
grab stuff, the money. Uh, and once Camilla comes in, we can grab the Draco shield. Kill. We can get Luna pretty fast, actually. But they will attack me, so it's a bit slower than I would have liked. Strength Taker activates. Kill this guy. They do zero damage. Oh, nice. Wow. Have I enjoyed this challenge run? Absolutely. It's the most fun I've ever had. I've always wanted to do something like this, but like... I was I was surprised that people actually wanted to see this, right? To be honest. I didn't think that it would be as popular as it would be. And that has definitely helped the enjoyment too, but like... It's kind of hard to separate the two, right? Because I do so much YouTube. But I, I don't, I don't, just, I mean, it's not like there needs to be a distinction between, like, normal fun and YouTube fun, right? Just because, like, yeah. So, let's, uh... Wait, how do I do this? Hold on a second. Did I mess up? Okay, let's, let's send Quattro up to fight these guys, maybe. I don't know. I think I'll just I'll just let them take a take. I'll 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 let them take over the area. That's fine. My guys are strong enough to handle this. Oh, Baru I can use. Oh wait, I can use Baruka actually. That'll be that'll be a bit convenient for like. At least slightly convenient for some things, but not really. I can use Camilla to grab the Draco shield. I'll use Selena as a body blocker for, for now. I'll promote Corrin. Uh, maybe Corrin can actually kill these guys. Corrin's level 20, right? Great master. Plus H strength. Let's go. You already spent too much money? Yeah, that's completely understandable. I don't blame you for not donating more. It's, I, I'm actually very surprised for all the... I'm very, very grateful for all the money you've already given me. Great Master that bases of the highest in the game? Okay. Yeah, maybe let's, let's have a cheeky pair up here. Uh, I don't think I want... I think I can transfer here. Wait, can I kill this guy with Zestu? Not really. do a decent amount of damage though. I can probably transfer away Trim. Who is definitely strong enough to just kill these guys. The fire tome? I need to force some fire tomes. I finally drained chat of all their money. Yeah, I think I gotta I gotta beat this run. Otherwise, like things will just have gotten too drawn out. I gotta win this time. Just for entertainment's sake. Okay, let's kill this one. Oh, Camilla got hit. They're breaking the wall, okay. How much money did I make with this already? I, I haven't counted, but it's a lot. Definitely a lot more than I get from ad revenue. I mean, it depends on what, what metrics you're using, of course, but like... It, de it really depends. It's kind of hard to say. Especially since I haven't like really like done the math or anything. Damn. Wait, Corn has 18 defense? Maybe he just kills everything here. Uh, That's fine. It doesn't really matter. I can, I can have Hepto warp in. Time for murder. <laughs> That's amazing. It's amazing that you can, I can just teleport in. Why the hell does Hepto have warp? Uh, because I did the witch DLC map to get warp for him. 
It was fated to be. It was meant to be. Okay, we're building up Strength Taker here. That's okay. That's good. Go this guy. Go this guy. This is actually illegal. Yeah, this is actually so strong. It's crazy. Go this guy. Oh, one shot. Very nice. Retreat here to block. Maybe retreat here to block. Retreat here to block. Strength Taker time? Yeah, let's go. I think Baruka is actually Camilla's dead. <laughs> there we go. Oh, she, she dodged. No, she's dead. There's Camilla. Goodbye. The favorite character for everyone to complain about. A oh, veteran commander with a five dollars super chat. I got bills to pay, so you're lucky right now. Thanks, man. If you want, if you want to assign that to anyone, feel free. I think As Flora's a friend, still alive. You are replaceable. Farewell. Whatever. All right. Let's 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 call that Flora dead. We we we, we need to chug out more boxes. Thanks, man, Gert. I'm looking for any excuses to check out boxes. So any donation that isn't like assigned, I'll just I'll just kill with it. If I can. He's never gonna make it anyway, that's that's true. Laura like is way too she, she comes way too late for anyone to for her to ever be saved. Go here. Some more strength taker. I was gonna, you guys got only like 20 attack, right? And... Don't kill generics? You can't. Kill this guy. Uh... Go pair up here just to defend. He play from dual strikes. Shouldn't matter too much. But it's just important to like... Consider. Okay, let's... Here's the plan. I'm gonna try to go for Takumi. Oh shit! The Koenig is is Koenig gonna die? Oh the the fucking archer! Oh the ballista the ballista! Oh no no! Oh damn! I can't believe it! No! Oh actually, twenty four. Oh air superiority! Let's go! No fuck! My hubris! No, actually no, that wasn't even hubris, that was just like... Something I wasn't even planning for. The Ballista! Like, if it, the Ballista wasn't there... Then everything would've been fine. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. That's crazy. Does this happen more than once? Yeah, I guess the Ballista have been a problem in the past, but not like to this degree. Let's go here and, and kill Hinata. Throwing hard. Yeah, that's that's a dead Konaway. That's really sad. Where's Konaway? Where's Konaway? A oh, thick motor with a $30 super chat. Now Robin dies in protest. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. As Thanks, a friend, You are the main great lord. Uh, Farewell. I have an idea. I get just to maybe I can promote promote Konoe to a Great Lord and then then throw away again. This won't be the run then. Mm. It might not be, but I'm gonna keep trying regardless. I'm, I don't want to be a quitter, you know. Switch attack here. What was Mr. Beast all along? You transfer here. Switch. Go. Crit. Very good. Okay, now, now let's, um... Uh... Let's just start killing here. 
I need to re I need really need to rush if I want to kill the boss, but I don't think I can I can make it. I don't think I can make it. I don't think I can kill Takumi. Unless like I could teleport over there, but Or maybe I guess one shot him actually. That's an option. Warp Hepto one? He he already has warp hepto. Hepto already has warp. The only question is can I reach Takumi this turn? Okay, he dragon veined. I waited too long. Yeah, I guess I just don't have enough units to really overwhelm the enemy that 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 well. I'm like down four units. Because like oh well, five units. Okay, wait, can I just one shot him? No! Oh, I can! I can do it! 90% hit! He doesn't he, he doesn't have like magic or anything, right? Point blank, worry fighter, quick draw. Let, let's 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 one shot him. Let's one shot him. Let's go. Goodbye, Takumi. Let's go. Yeah! We got him. We got him. Got an elixir. We did it. Takumi is dead. It's, it's betraying time. I can't believe it. Brook is still alive? Okay, that's good. I can probably try to get a child unit, maybe. That's probably not going to work. Kumi is dead, and the run is alive. Yeah. That's that's pretty much it. Church of Lord 7 with a $2 donation. Give me next nation a $2 discount. Okay, I'll I'll just I'll just put that on the next guy. I don't want it's gonna be a pain to track. I'll I'll, I'll just remember it. That's a bit of mine. You are replaceable. Farewell. Okay. Uh. Okay, let's go here and have Hepto take care of these guys. He's like seven chapters gonna S support. Uh, that's that is true. Uh, I don't even have a throwing sword, do I? Huh. Wait, this guy gonna seize? Not yet. Actually, maybe. I can probably just like sit everyone's ass on the on the seize point. That's moonlight to heal up. Very good. Can you get support on DLC maps? I don't think so. Wait, yeah, I think maybe in Conquest. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, actually, no, I'm not super sure. I really don't know. I never tried it because, like, it's this, what's the point, right? Trim can warp? Yeah, that's true. Selena's dead? Good. Selena's dead. There's, there's no bow users on the side, so shit, things should be okay. Corn gets attacked, but that's okay. Oh, nice. They're, they're, they're distracted. They're attacking Trim. Good. That's very good. Yeah, Konoe dying is actually tragic. I think she would have actually been useful with as a Great Lord. Especially because like Great Lord has pretty nice skills. Like the awakening skill is pretty nice. Okay, so um Let's teleport here. And kill this guy. We can get a clone away. I mean I guess technically, but we're never 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 gonna get time to train her. That's the problem. Okay, let's uh, let's kill. Let's attack one of these guys and teleport here. I 
And selling up a Kono is more tragic. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's unpair here so we have more options. Wait, bring her back from the dead? I think it's been a hard and solid rule that generics only live once each run. But... I don't know. Maybe if this is the run, we can make it. We can make an exception. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't make an exception. I'm just not right. What? What chapter is it? Well, let, it's turn ten. Okay, we're almost there. We trade the elixir for Konoe's life. You only had eight strength anyway. No, as a great lord, she would have like twelve strength. That's so much more. Kill this one. Don't silly the run. Yeah, I feel like it will just be. It will leave. It will leave a bad taste in my mouth if I kind of like flex the rules just to, just for the sake of it. HP, skill, luck. Skill's good. Uh, I think maybe I get rid of natural cover. Or wary, maybe I get rid of wary fighter actually. It's increasingly not that useful. And he actually gets faster now. Uh, how do I do this? You got the kill like this. Very good. These guys, twenty-seven damage. A lot of damage. So maybe I. Kill this one. I think this one cannot seize yet, so I can I can let him move. One, two, three, four, five. He's he does not in range to seize. So I think I go here. I switch. I transfer. Apto over here. Uh, Quattro over here. So I have Quattro move down and start killing this Pegasus. This Pegasus. This way they're thinned out, and I can stop them next turn. We're not seized yet. We're very close, but not yet. Perfect. Ugh. Okay. That's good. And Baruka's still alive. Fun fact, Baruka's like basically like very nearly as good as Octu, surprisingly. Maybe I get. Uh, who do I give the XP to? You found out anyone else dying in the body, you're gonna, you're gonna be very angry? Well, I mean. I, I, I can't. I can, I can make no promises. A lot of people are going to die regardless. Okay, that's the map. We, we beat chapter 10. In record time. That's a very fast map. These guys, they're not going to do anything. Just don't throw. Chapter 10 is done. Did we get a support? No, we didn't even, we didn't even get the C support. Didn't expect that, did you? Mm. Skill defense. Lilith's Temple. Get some food. I think maybe we upgrade. We can upgrade now, right? No, that's not 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 yet. There's a private. We can invite an ally to. Is that enough support points level up to rank up? Not yet. Thick mortar with a 30 euro super chat. Cannot support a corpse after all. Okay. I don't even know why I try anymore. As a friend, you are I don't even know why I try. Farewell. Oh, the cow is generic. I guess not. Well, not anymore. <laughs> it sounds so defeated. Well, I am, I guess. Actually, wait. We got... We got... I guess we get 30k now, so we can buy more generics too. 
Like the Perry lives? That's that's true, but like do I really want to get Perry of all people? Okay, let's get Kona away. Another and maybe Minori. Alright, that's that's 30k I just spent. So we got We got spent we got yeah. Okay, so I think here's the plan. I just buy some very good fire tomes, maybe. Like, maybe, like, a lot of good fire tomes. And four, oh, four some plus two, and maybe some plus fours later. Do I, do I not even have the smithy yet? Yes. Javelin, yeah, that's a good idea. I forgot about that. Yeah, I can't believe half two died because of my hubris. This always happens. It's not even it's not even over anything interesting. It's just like, oh oops, I, I just I just fucking died. Forge of fire plus two. More fire plus two. Another fire plus two. Now, I I got I got Hepto two, not not Hepto one. The Hepto two was just like a, a weak Hepto that I just got just for the sake of it, in the case of making a second one. But he died really early. Sertrig or seven. As a friend, raising a discount to five euro, half price fairy. Farewell. Based. Fire on Octu. Uh, I guess he's not gonna make use of it. Using plus two dollars, I want to have kind of have a psycho mom. We say no to Perry. I was like, As a friend, you are replaceable. Okay. All right. Farewell. That's a that's a dead Perry. Okay. And uh, another half price fairy. Okay. I think it's like left over here, but as a friend, I, 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 I don't I don't want to count anymore. Farewell. I, 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 it's a slight it's slight discount is fine. That's a. Keaton dead and Perry dead. You guys are so bloodthirsty, oh my god. So we won't be getting Kana, I guess not. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did ya? Look at that jab. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Oh man. I need to get a javelin. And Turtrigler has spent another two to make up the difference. Okay. Thanks, man. Uh, let's 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 buy the javelin. Let's buy two javelins. As a can. friend, you are replaceable. Farewell. Lock up a tome. Yeah, he's got a he got a fire tome. So let's change the assistant. Let's do a different one this time. Let's do a random one. Ah, that's too weeaboo. Don't want a Master Ninja. Oh, there we go. Armor Knight. Very nice. Goraz Pebble, how much debuff? Like, minus six. Defense speed, defense res is pretty strong. In Chapter 11, is probably another Steamroll map, I think. I don't, I don't get any XP, and, like, so I think the best way to do it is just to kill everything. Wait. Do I have another heart seal? I want I want to reclass Quattro if I can. I think No, I'm not training another Hepto. That's that's too much. You're asking too much of me. I can't do it. Hey, let, let, let's let's chuck Baruka. Yeah, I, I, I don't. And you, you, you guys have spent too much. Thank you again, but you don't need to spend anymore. Ed Baruka.
Yeah, I'm not I'm not playing this map normally. I'm just gonna kill with Hepto. Wait, actually I need a strength pair to actually one shot. It's surprising how Hepto can't one shot anything. Even after all of this. Okay, let's go. Let's 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 clean this map. Let's turn off auto cursor. I keep forgetting to do that every time I do it. Where's auto cursor? Uh person memory on. You surpass a 70 kill mark by shooting a furry. Oh wow. 70 kills. Crazy. What a body count. Hepto sweep, yeah. Remember when Hepto was barely scratching Fuga? No, I think that was Ipe, but he's, he's even actually he was only doing like 13 damage. I guess the problem is he doesn't have any skills. Actually, he doesn't have any combat skills. Wait, this guy does actually da actual damage. So let's kill him with a sword. Very nice. Lunges, other lunges. I think actually Kepto can take on the uh, the big life and death room now without dying. Because he's got like 30 resistance now. No commander of this series loans cost you more than 1,200 euros. God damn. Again, yeah, thank you for your contributions. I really appreciate it. Okay, so this guy does 20 damage. These guys do like 30 damage. We're good. We're good. There's no way. There's no way Hepto dies in this room. It's impossible. It cannot happen. It doesn't even take any damage. Okay, we're good. Bring up Goro. Yeah, I'll do it soon. I'll do it after I kill everything. Patience, my friend. I would definitely want to finish this run before Engage comes out. But, like, that's definitely going to happen, I think. There's no way, like, it's not bingo. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot to remove the bingo marker. Where's my bingo marker? Uh, no, that's not it. Bingo... I, I can't even find it anymore. I got too many things on this thing. There we go. Not bingo yet. January. It's like January 20th. That's when the game comes out. I'm sure I'll be able to get it through. Yeah, there's, there's no way this run goes on that long. I think I've already won. I mean, I need I probably need to make some very scuffed strats to make it work. But I'm pretty sure like I've got it. Engage KMU. I'll, 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 I'll play the game normally first. I can't. I don't want to do a KMU on the first run. It won't be as fun. Like, it, 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 what's the point if you don't get to know the characters beforehand, right? It just it just makes no sense to me. So I, I, I actually got into some other crazy ideas. Maybe I could do a Botax Septo if I use enough Spirit Dust. But that's probably too much. I think it'll, it'll take too many runs to get enough spirit dust. Like, but who else am I gonna use it on, right? Spirit Octu. Not actually. Not, hmm. It depends, really. Probably not. I'm gonna stream on a regular playthrough. I'm actually. I don't really know what I'll do with my content for this specifically. It's kind of a tough question, actually. I'd have to get warp. I I beat the DLC map that had it. I'm actually not generally not sure how I'm going to do engage. Because like my content style requires some familiarity with the game. And if it's a new game, like that's the first time that has happened in my streaming career, my YouTube career, right? I, I don't want to do like a normal let's play because I don't like that format. 
But maybe I stream it. But then, like, I gotta stream it, like, to keep up, I gotta stream it, like, really fast, right? <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't work, right? It depends on what it depends on what I want out of it. Do I want content or do I want to enjoy it, right? I have another job, right? How I keep up? Yeah, that's the problem, right? I'm not I'm not doing this full time. So I actually can't like physically keep up with like with like no life let's players, you know? Oh Kazi. Wait, is Kazi alive? Yeah, he's dead. Enjoy the game first. I think I might like give like I might make like video guides or something. Or something along those lines, just because like it's like it's it's the kind of content I think people won't want to see. I might like do like quick guides or like quick advice things that are er like that become irrelevant in like a few months. How to break the game? Oh yeah, that would be that'll be fun. I'd absolutely do that. I'd absolutely do something like that. But yeah, I, I'll probably- I'll let you guys in on any shenanigans I find out, for sure. But yeah, I think I'll- From this and FE7, I'll be able to, to tide myself over until then. But I'm actually worried that I might not have enough time to finish it. <laughs> but I've been- ha I've been delaying on too much. I should definitely- I need to get- I need- I need to just sit down and record FE7 content. Hey, let's uh I think this witch this 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 trim needs some more magic. Let's give this trim more magic. And also let's make this trim into a dark flyer. Let's update everyone. I don't think I got any... I guess I got 10k from Kaze. But... I should train Penvo so I can have someone pass. But that can wait until later. Actually, no. It, it doesn't have to wait. I can do it now. Draco Shield to Octu. I think maybe Draco Shield to Quattro is probably better. Or maybe like Minori, even Minori or something, if I want to know what's about your tank. But I got my 10k, so that's like another 12k. 120k. Let's buy Jotaro. I should probably try definitely train Jotaro. And I can buy uh a Penvo. I think I should give it to Quattro. He's like on the edge of like becoming really strong with it. Yeah, I think once Jotaro will actually be extremely strong once I get him his like certain blow because that makes him much like much more accurate like so much more accurate it's crazy how much more accurate will make him. But I need heart seals. I don't have any heart seals. That's the thing. All right, let's just keep going. Actually, th this map will be a lot easier now that I have warp. Uh, I need Goro to lockpick. I need everyone here. Is this two can be benched? Oh, Penvo's a. Let's try to trade Penvo. Because I, 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 re I really, really need pass in the end game. Doesn't even have a weapon. Does Kazi just die in cutting this route? No, he dies in birthright. Was it? Yeah. Lazlo's dead, and Perry's dead, and I already got paid for Kaze, so okay. Let's, let's just do it. Can't be that hard, right? I don't, even think I, I don't even think I need the defense buff this time. I can just like charge in. Oh, did I get silenced? What? Oh right, that was a poison pot. Crazy how that happens, huh? No, he dies in birthright. Because... You, uh, Kaze is technically the conquest ninja that you also get in other routes. 
But um, Saizo is the birthright ninja. That's how I remember at least. But like you're you're not you're not meant to have Kaze. Because he's technically supposed to be the one that follows you in conquest. So that's why that's probably why they kill him off. And, and but they let it but they kind of back off and let you save him anyway. They want some cheap drama? That too, right? But like it's it's they always want cheap drama. It's kinda hard to differentiate it. Yeah, let's, let's dump Perry here. Perry's dead, right? Yeah, Perry's dead. Which one is which one is Penvo? Okay. Let's see if I can't chip this guy down a bit. I might not be able to. Does Lilith ever die in birthright? Yeah. Yeah, Lilith dies. Lilith dies. For no reason, for a lot of for a lot a lot a lot very often. No, Penvo doesn't even have Paragon, okay. Actually, I think this Penvo he doesn't need stats, so I'll just early promote it for pass. And he can be like a stat user, I guess. Lilith dies to Hans of Birthright. Yeah, he, she never lives. She's not meant to be an actual character. She's like a... a she's... I think the, the the working theory is that she was like... She was originally some like... Uh, like a more background character that got, that got given a proper sprite and a, more of a role than she origi was originally intended. And that's why it's like that. Let's go here. Let's kill this guy. Can I teleport? Yeah, I, I, I'm just gonna start using, making this teleport to its fullest extent here. I don't kill this guy. Wow. That's bad. I mean, it's okay. But, uh... It's still less than desirable. Oh, come on. I'm not getting one-shots here. That's really bad. Who has plus three strength? No one. It's counter magic, but it is, it's okay if I one shot him, actually. Rally with Lazlo than Parable. Oh, right, he, right, right. Lazlo gives plus one strength. Then I can pair up with like Goro. Then I can one shot him. There we go. That's perfect, actually. That works perfectly. Nice. Flame Shuriken? Useless, but okay. I can try to one shot. Uh, if I if I transfer away, I can one shot with a pair up. There we go. I don't know. I think it's kind of useless to try to theorize how fates could be fates could be made better, because like it, 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 there's too many things, right? And just they just wouldn't have happened. In order to get hit, that's okay. She won't die in two hits, fortunately, because of all the stat boosts I've given her. I should have left now as alive. Well, it's not. That's not my choice. Why? Why are you blaming me for whether or not for whether the is dead? That's not my fault. It's your fault. Plus one luck. But also, the other thing is that generics, like the actual generics, are kind of too strong. And when I did rev, they kind of took over the game, right? So it's not just about that. It's like it's also it's it's not quite in the spirit of things. Harry's dead. Okay.
Dead parry. Let's keep training. Let's keep training Penvo. He's getting a lot of easy kills. Kaze here to die. Uh, keep fighting, I guess. Oh, I got s silenced, huh? We have this this same discussion for like nine streams. That is true. Adventure Pentacle? Yeah, I'm trying to get him to early promotion so I can get past. So then he can like reclass into like Bone or something to have. So I can uh, use him to fairy stabs and, and stuff. Now let's just send Hepto up to kill everything here. Nearly another level up. I want the money more than anything else here, so... There are more than 500 bases just for birth rate alone, supposedly. I That doesn't really speak much to whatever they did with it. I, I don't really... That's just like a buzzword, right? They did to, like, stir up interest. Like, who cares if there were 500 pages of script, right? If they didn't use any of it. And, yeah. I don't really think that's really, like really an indicator of anything, really. That they had a, such a large script, especially, like, given the end result, right? Like, I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess they had a lot of script, but, like, what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. You're saying if a game wasn't rushed, it could have been better? Hypothetically, yeah. Oh, Lazlo's dead. But, like, it, it's not, it's never about, like, I mean, the game is already released, right? Akazi's dead too, right? Is Akazi dead yet? Akazi's not dead. Ow, it doesn't matter. We can, we can always... A anything can be better. If you imagine how much better it could have been, right? And I don't really think that's interesting. Because, yeah, a anything can be better if it was better, but it's not. So, like, who cares? I'm not sure where I'm going with this. Just, just let it be, right? Just let it die. It was bad. It, it, it will remain bad until forevermore. So be it. I don't know. I'm just like finding myself like consistently like, annoyed by like. It, uh, I guess by people who like and s I don't like rewrites that's basically it and uh, I find it hard to voice exactly why but like it's just like it just reminds me too much of like 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 fix fic fan fiction you know and then like it's not really about the actual work it's about writing your own thing and having it be better than the original oh fuck Right, it's not what it, when people write fan works. It, it is some most of the motivation I feel is more about having something you make be seen <laughs> than it is about the actual original work. Because, like, when you when you make a fan fiction or you make a fan work, right? It has an automatic audience and you didn't have to do any of the legwork. All the millions of marketing to make it happen. And that's the main motivation, I feel, for that. It's like, it's like an easier way to get started on something that people might actually, like, look at. And that's not bad by anything, but, like, it's... It, it kind of, like... I, I feel like it clearly poisons... What the work could have been. I'd say motivation, yeah. But like, generally, like, I'm not personally, like, as a player, 
I'm not interested in like the story that some random guy wrote. I'm interested in the story that everyone read. That's the most part. It's my same motivation be be behind why I don't really like ROM hacks. And maybe it's like it's like kind of like a strange thing or like I I I don't know. It's like it's like you have a book club, right? That's that's the best way I think I can describe it. I, I imagine this like a book club. And for the book club, you gotta read the book. And I prefer like the book club kind of style of discussion where you everyone reads the same book and then we talk about it. But then like if you have fan fiction and stuff and you can imagine all that stuff, right? Then no one has read the book. Because it's a different book. And then like it's well, then, th then there's like 30 different books, too. And it just doesn't quite work for me. What if everyone makes a book club around the fanfic? Maybe, I guess. But that would require, like... A certain degree of popularity that is unachievable for most fanfics. And for most... There's no way... There are very few fanfictions that achieve the uh, popularity of like an actual proper written work. The other thing is that I, I also... The other thing that I probably haven't mentioned is I hate spin-offs because I, I I have the same philosophy there. I hate spin-offs. And that probably informs a lot about like my decision here. I hate spin-offs too. Like even like official spin-offs. Because I feel like it's like I only like original works pretty much. Anything derivative feels like inherently cheapened in my opinion. That's probably the best way to put it. I don't like spin-offs either. And that's probably more understandable, I think. Everything is a spin-off? I mean, hypothetically, yes, everything is, is based off the same basic story, right? But like there 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 are there are degrees to which this is the case. I also hear these like sequels? Yes, actually too. I actually also dislike sequels. I actually also dislike sequels. But it depends, like... If the sequel is like... Is is, is a sequel a continuation to a finished work? Or is the sequel just like the next chapter? Hey, anything that continues? I feel like most things deserve just like... End. They should end. Things should end. Series should end. Do you like Radiant Dawn? Uh, no, but I don't like it for, for other reasons. I feel like more stories just need to like... Just to, like, need to stop. They don't need- they don't need to go on forever. Excel hates FE12. Well... <laughs> I don't hate all sequels, but I am kind of biased against them. For reasons I've just explained, right? Grab this chest. You must hate Star Wars? I actually do. <laughs> That's another thing I, I... I I, Oh, I can just kill Ryoma instantly. Okay, no need to worry then. Turn 14, we're good. I can grab the chest next turn easily. Then I can see is too. Well, and then when should fire him stop? I mean, as as long as the Fire Emblem things are, like, mostly original works, right? I don't mind, like, crossovers that much. Because, like, for the most part, like, as, as long as they're still original. Replaceable. Farewell. Like, I think Engage would probably be fine. Because, like, it's more like using past elements. It's not, like, a continuation of the story. I find this hard to describe. Okay, let's, let, let's roast the lobster. FE12 I enjoy for its gameplay on its own. Crossovers are inherently derivative and unoriginal? It depends. I'm sorry. It depends if you just like use the characters. Got the secret book. Very nice. But I don't know. It's it's 
It's just a matter of taste, really. And it's not something that can be, like, formulated in such a scientific way. I hate to say it, but, like, I don't know. It's 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 more about trying to understand my own taste and the way I'm talking right now than to try to, like, justify any particular, like, dislike or dislike, right? Like, it's just my, it's just my own taste. Who cares? Ultimately, yeah. That that's that's a good point. Who cares? Like that that's the other thing. Like no matter what you say, who cares is always like an extremely legitimate opinion in counter that can be used to counter any opinion. And ultimately, yeah, who who does care? <laughs> does anyone care? I I uh, yeah. So actually, I don't think I. Actually, uh, I don't have any generics left, do I? I guess I can buy amiibo units to kill off. What was the... Yeah, I'll just buy the amiibo units to kill off. Let's buy... Let's buy Marth. Let's buy Ike. Let's, let's, let's usually check, just check them off. I don't think I have any other units worth buying anymore. There's Shinobi, he's unusable hell. That is true. He is kind of unusable right now. Okay, I think I can. We, we can upgrade the shops now. Can we? We can't. Next next chapter. We can upgrade the shops to get more heart seals. If you're asking, then you do care. If you don't care, then you don't acknowledge it. I mean, that's... I don't know. I, you, you can respond to things that you don't care about. And that's not like a myth. I don't know, there is this kind of weird escalation of things where, like, two people argue, but then they both argue about how little they care, as if, like, that makes it better, <laughs> right? I feel like that's that's an even more degenerate way to argue than anything else. It's like saying, oh no, you're, you're arguing about this, so you care more than I do, right? But I care even less, that makes me better than you. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Are you high? That's so fucking stupid, I can't imagine how- What the fuck are you on? Let's give Minori the secret book. There's some things that it's like... I don't know. Sometimes people just like act in ways that are contrary to like... Reality. And technically they might be rhetorically correct. And they might, they might be able to talk their way around it. But it just makes no sense to a normal person. Like, you can not care about something and still talk about it. For the most part. But, like, backing out of something by saying you don't care is a bit strange. I do agree. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's beat this map. It shouldn't be too bad. I can teleport everywhere. I have... Benny's alive, I guess. Uh, but I have Charlotte as a bait. And I also have Martha and Ike as bait. I might, need, I might need to bring these guys just to use them as bait. I can undeploy a trim. Maybe Monroe. They will... Uh, I'll undeploy some guys so I can use the other guys more, a bit more. Let's, I need at least one or two baits. One to Lear Charlotte and one to Lear... One to, one to Lear Scarlet and one to Lear... Um, who's it? Uh, Murder Lady. Who is Murder Lady again? Reyna, yeah. So I think I'll use Marth and Charlotte. Uh, and having off Benny as backup. How much... These guys have 6 speed? Okay, I, I can just kill them. Nori, wait, who has got XP here? Trim can just counter attack and kill these guys. 24 resistance? Oh, that's nice. Very good. I feel like I need to ramp more, but like, it's it's a bit strange, you know? I don't I don't know if people actually like it, but sometimes I just get passionate. Sometimes I just sometimes I just see red and just gotta talk. I don't I don't get I don't get 
there's no reason for me to do this in like in most polite company because they, they because they don't get what I'm talking about. You see, you care about nothing. That it makes you really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Having no beliefs means you're really cool. I don't know. There's like a strange de devolution of things where people just kind of say people value like not being hypocrites so much. They just say don't they don't believe in anything. Like it, it, the best way to not be a hypocrite is to have no principles. But then, yeah, it's strange. It's like a meta. There's like a strange meta going around. Where like, instead of like actually saying anything, you just say you don't care. And as a result, like, then you, 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 you're not, you, you don't self-contradict ever. Because you don't like care, you don't, you don't care about anything. And then as a result, like, you can technically say you're not, you're not being a hypocrite even when you like... Whatever, right? It's a strange meta. The cop-out. Basically, yeah. There's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 movement. That's actually slightly bad. So I'll probably have to shove someone else in the way there. But granted, like, it depends. Like, ultimately, it really depends on, like, what you have energy to deal with. Because, yeah, I guess, like, some things, some things you just don't want, you, are just not your problem. <laughs> and it's fine to have, have no comment. Sheltered Goro. Yeah, that's a good plan. It's kind of hard, hard to differentiate, really. Because, like, it's ultimately, like... But, yeah, the best, unfortunately, the best way in, to deal with most things is just not talk about them because they're more trouble than they're worth. Oh, dead Marth. The Lord is irreplaceable. Gameplay is the main money grabber. And the aesthetics. I think aesthetics matter a lot. And most Fire Emblem kind of nails it for the most part. At least on a surface level. Like, three houses doesn't look too good after a little bit. Which is why I'm not that much of a fan, actually, of three houses. It stops looking particularly good after a little while. Like, it's, I mean, come on, three houses, like, it looks like potato. Let's be real. It's got nice sprites. It got, it's got nice 2D artwork, that's it. So, uh... But I, I, I can get past character design. Not that big of a deal for me. Kind of wondering, how do I do this? Because, like, anyone I put out here will be vulnerable to attack by these guys. I don't have no Suratu on anyone. Should have bought it, but, like... So I've got a couple of options, and none of them are... Not, not all of them are very good. I can just attack here. Maybe I dual strike to kill Takumi with, like, a hand axe or something. It's kind of hard to do. Actually, wait, how much damage do you guys do? It's 15 damage. This guy has got 24 attack, 24 attack. Okay, Trim can take two hits. That's actually okay. She'll live. I can dual strike here? No, I can't. Uh, I can warp here. Can Minori take two hits? She's got eight defense. Actually, same amount of same amount of stats. I can warp here and take care of the other other one. And neither of them can really die. Maybe there's like a sneaky pair up, but that's not likely to happen. No, it could happen. I, I should I should take measures. I can freeze one of these guys. And Takumi's not that much of a problem. Oh, he can walk on water? Oh, fuck. I forgot he can walk on water. I just assumed that he couldn't. Damn. Okay, he's got to go. He's got to go.
Damn, he's Tsukumi is so terrifying every time he shows up. Okay, let's, let's just try this first. Literally, Jesus. No! <laughs> uh, fuck it. Gamble. There we go. We got him. I don't know. I, ranting does help fill the air time. That's, that's important, too. It's better than dead air. Like, and let's be real. What we're doing right now is not the most interesting thing in the world. I'll just freeze one of these guys so they don't come after me. Did you know that an official Beyblade Lord Jesus spit the sea with a Beyblade? Oh, fuck! No! Ah! They got trim! Reyna! Got trim! Oh my god. Dang. Oh. oh my god. Okay, yeah, Benny died for free. That's fine. But trim died. That, that was a level 35 trim. I didn't check the ranges. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. I'm fucking dying. Okay, I think I can, I can definitely get the kill though. That's fine. Uh... This corn is cursed. Yeah, maybe you gotta, you gotta, gotta burn it down. Start from zero. We need, we need, we need some salvation up in here. We're already doomed. I wouldn't go that far, but it's definitely not looking very good. Let's just attack. Oh, nice. Reyna's dead. We got her. We, ladies and gentlemen, we got her. Hmm. Let's have let's have I Ipe go up and attack here. Not enough damage. Wow. It's crazy. Uh, let's hide Charlotte behind someone so I still have a bait to work with. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, Penville's gonna die. Wow. I'm gonna freeze again. There we go. I saved, saved Penville, I guess. That's something. Goro! Oh no, that's just that's just a knight. It's okay. Seven damage beast killer, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, that's fine. I, I can I can train Pebble here. I guess not. I was asking for too much. Keep killing here. 97. Uh, I don't think it was that accurate. Oh man. Uh, I'm fucking dying here. All these guys do zero damage, so we're, we're, okay, we're okay there. 
The loss of Trim, the level 35 one, was, was pretty bad. But it's recoverable. I mean, it's okay. We still have a lot of really strong guys. So the loss shouldn't, like, cause me to lose. But it is, it is painful. <laughs> Armor Knight wanted to sit on the floor. Yeah, he had, had to take a breather. Did it have warp? Yeah. That one had warp. I switch here and I attack. This way I can maybe get a Penville kill for some XP. So I can get an adventure with pass. Very good. Let's keep clearing these guys. The corn kill? Oh, corn can actually kill. Surprisingly good. Next one will be if there isn't any throwing. Actually, I mean, even with just have to, I can get pretty far. Okay, so let's 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 do a hepto let's do a hepto movement chain, I think. Transfer here. And Hepto has like how much defense? Like 24 resistance against 29. Yeah, he, he can do just fine against Calamity Gate. Let's visit before they get there. Get the 5k. We're good. Seven damage, we're fine. Is there a main game series I haven't played? I have I haven't played all the games. I haven't I've played I haven't played four really. I haven't played one, two, and three. I haven't played six very much. So like that's about it, I think. Just six, four, and three, two, one. Everything else I think I've played. Actually, I haven't played nine either. I should definitely play four. I'll I'll get to it. It's on my list. But like it's No! Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. I played Thracia. I have not played Plath Radiance. Wait, what's in what's in this village anyway? If he fates after 13 villages. That's, uh. I don't left his arm scroll. Okay, I, I can I can let the arm scroll go. It's arm scroll. How much money have I dumped into heroes? Zero. I don't I don't pay for mobile games. As as anyone should. You should never pay for a mobile game. I, I already got the gold. I have a warper? No, my only two warpers are here. They're both on the same character, and they missed. I don't have any other warpers right now. The other wish I have is in the, is in the bench. I mean, I still play Heroes. I played it obsessively for a very large amount of time. I just didn't put any money into it. I wasted all my time, just not my money. As you should for gacha games. Like, I played the hell out of it when it first came out. And I really enjoyed it. Then, like, it got kind of... Got, kind of got a bit much. Can more valuable? Well, it depends. If you're looking for enjoyment, Having enjoyment to fill your time is a thing. But I think I, I just kind of like, on an instinctual level... On an instinctual level, I can't pay for gacha games. Maybe some people are different, but I'm not like that. I just can't. It feels wrong. Because like, as a kid, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, like, my parents wouldn't buy me games, you know? And it kind of evolved into like, I just played all the free ones. And there was like just an instinctual level for me that like, I don't like paying for games. Especially if I'm not going to get my worth out of them. I'm going to reach level 20? Yeah, he's, he is going to get level 20 pretty soon. OG pirate? Uh, no, um, hmm, absolutely not. Oh, I always pay for my video games. I always pay for my video games. 
What are you talking about? I do not sail the six seas. I don't go on the the pirate on the the buccaneer coast. And I pay for rev. I'll leave it to your imagination. I see. But like, I definitely prefer games that are free. And I prefer, at least for games that are free, where you have the option of paying. I never pay, I never spend money on those, for sure. Like, I don't, I definitely, I... When I play freemium games, I never, I never go past the free. There we go, Charlotte's dead. He has reinforcements, that's fine. I can kill these guys with magic and everything. Easy. Might not have enough people to actually clear this entire squad. That's a problem. Go this guy. Goro? I think we're okay. It is a bit tricky now. Go this guy. Savage blow. Then I think we probably kill this guy with Corin. Seven, seven. That's actually one off, unfortunately. Uh, Penvo can probably do some chip damage. Fifth boy, wow, 15 damage. That's actually a lot more than I thought he could. Damn. Penvo can actually kill a guy with like base level magic. Would it be nice to have chip now? Yeah, um, unfortunately, yeah, it would have been nice. It really would have been. But you can't have everything. So, the, okay, Octu is strong. These guys, I think one guy's a javelin, but that's fine. Or has 15 defense, and if I kill the javelin guy, he only takes one hit. And Minori can take a bunch of hits, but probably too many for her to really handle. Envil might be a, might be screwed. How do I do this? That gets rid of the most most enemies as possible. Okay, this is actually good. Nine by that's actually a kill. I'll take it. Nice crit. And if I do that, I can probably clear everything but one. And if I do that, then we're probably okay. What's my best weapon for dual striking? I think Iron Lance, probably? Do you have an axe? It's a club. So I kill, kill the Javelin guy, and I kill one guy with Corrin. And then I think we're okay. I'd have to kill them all? I, I'm entangled right now. Never mind, that's bad. Uh, I think Minori survived two hits, right? 26, 26. Do I give defense my pair up? I do not. One has a sword. I, th I could take nine damage from this guy. Oh, actually, this is. No, this is too risky. body block one of them hmm actually wait I could probably body block for Minori but then Goro gets hit twice it goes from like I think it's 26 25 26 and then he gets for 26 by right, 12 uh, how does this happen hubris it's always hubris Or I could just free- Oh, I could freeze one of them. 
I'm wasting freezes left and right, but that's okay. I'll just freeze one of them. Like, what else is use this freeze and except in, the, in this, this kind of situation? Yeah, they attacked Octu and we're- that's fine. Hell yeah, freeze. I love freeze. And so it's it's just it always bills me out in these in these kind of situations. It's very nice. Use my kept to a low star. No, and then I lose out on, on all the defense, and that's not as good. It's better to have more defense than anything else here. I lost too many people on this chapter. Wow. I think I only lost one, but that's still too many. Oh man. Hey, let's 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 get let's let's get that bread. Let's get that armored blow. Get that armor to blow. Let's go. Strength, skill, luck. Very nice. I get armor blow. Let's get rid of Paragon. There we go. Perfect. And let's just kill everything else. Just to make it simple. Ugh. Like how chapter 7 killed as many runs as chapter 10. Yeah, it was really- the early chapters were really rough. I'm making you want to play Fates again? Yeah, I mean, I think Fates is enjoyable. Yeah, it's just doing fun stuff in Fates is the most- it's easier to do the most fun stuff in Fates than any other, than any other game. Like, that's just the best way to put it, I think. It's it's easier to do fun things in this game than others. Other games, like, it's not enough flexibility, I think. Or it should be quite the same. Uh, okay, let's let's give Hepto... Let's give Quasho a reclass to a Paladin, I think. And maybe maybe we should use a Strength Taker. What do you guys think? Who, who gets a Strength Taker? Oh, maybe I have an idea. You guys gonna like this. We give Jitaro a strength taker. We could give Jitaro a strength taker. So he gets like plus 19 damage. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. This is not this is not a vote. Let's just do it. Jitaro gaming. Let's go. We are Jitaro gaming right now. Yeah, this, this is I can't believe I didn't think of this before. Yeah, let's do it. Jotaro gets the strength taker. Then he, he can become extremely overpowered. Just like he was meant to be. So, uh, survey. Opportunity shot. Survey's not useful. And I think we reclass Jotaro out of Ballastician soon. Once he gets like his like level 21, let's make him to a sniper. And we can do that pretty soon. Not right now, but pretty soon. And let's give him all the stat boosts we can later. That's it's just it's just proper, I think. We still have Ike. Hmm. Or Clash of Tarnage and Kenshi Knight. Uh, I think I'd rather have a Sniper. Because Snipers gets... They get, I need a certain blow, for sure. And I also need... Because uh, otherwise I won't hit anything. I need a certain blow, I need bow, bow fair. That's just better than most classes right now. Did you try a load star? No, I, he, needs to, he needs to have a bow. He can't take away his bow. That's like... That's like blasphemy. Wait, how many? That was chapter. I think three, three characters died that chapter. Benny and Marth. Marth counts. At, Marth counts for uh, generic funds. So they're like free to recruit, I guess. You know, in a way. So unfortunately, I did lose a good character there. But let's let's buy the let's upgrade let's upgrade the shops now. Ether Jotaro. Let's upgrade everything. I can't upgrade the smithy yet, I think, right? That's next chapter. I'm gonna go Kinshi after a certain blow. Yeah, I think I, I can use it to train Jotaro on the Fox map. And then I can reclass back into Sniper. Is it the second time we lose Trim to Trim 13? I don't even remember the last time. Oh, it's all blurring together. I've done too many runs at this game. 
So let's buy some seals. I think, uh, nah, the seals shouldn't come out of the funds. Let's buy both seals. So, do I have any stat boosters? I've already used them. So the quad show should be reclassed to a paladin, I think. So we can get the skills. He loses some stats, but that's okay. Ether Jotaro. I don't think Lodestar gets Ether. I think Vanguard gets it. But you can't really get... The Vanguard seal is harder to get. You gotta actually play the map. So Quattro is now a Paladin. Very nice. Uh, I should buy more more free staffs. Yeah, there's just there's like a an item for it, but you can't get it unless you play the map. And it's a very hard map. Let's buy both free staffs. It's just such a good staff. Yeah, but, yeah. Oh, you get it as a book. Hmm. But well, you gotta play the map, and like it's a hard map. I don't want to play it <laughs> because I'll die. I'll probably die. All right, next map, we, we can do this really sneakily. We can do this map really sneakily. It's really fast. I don't want... The XP here is too risky. Is it Lynch's Gambit? I think it's based off of the Makaya map, actually, right? Isn't it? I might, might be wrong here. These guys are a bit too weak to really, like... Pretty crazy Leo's alive. Oh, nice. I can, I can get another, like, unit that can fight. Fun facts, like, Leo is, like, litter better than basically every unit I have. I mean, actually, not really, but for most of them, it's the, he's a, he's pretty good, comparatively. No, actually, no, he's not, he's actually even, not, not even that good, what am I thinking? Hmm. Quick use him before he dies, yeah. I mean, I'm really speeding through, speeding through the chapters this time. He was pretty solid. Yeah, he's not bad. He's he's just outclassed by like Xander and every and everyone. But like, if you if like if you have the choice between him and like literally anyone else, I'd have questions, right? Because like he's not he's good. He's okay. He's not that good though. Oh, maybe I can do a Keaton pair up here for more strength. Okay, so let's uh, go up here. Let's clear these guys. Uh, trim. I mean, Quattro, you can do it. Pair up here for the kill. Very nice. He has no strats tank. Yeah, I guess he's a good candidate for that, too. What does these guys do? 21 damage. That's actually pretty scary for my... Oh, wait, I can warp. I keep forgetting about the warp. I I went through so much effort to get it, but I don't use it as often as I should. I should just like use it to just like abuse these positions much more easily. Gotta kill his horse to do it. I mean the horse. The horse is a small price to pay for Nosferatu. Wait, how many flyers do I have? Holy shit, that's a lot of flyers. I got so many flyers this time. I guess it's because I made them all into dark flyers. That's fine. I would have had two more. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> no, don't remind me. How many I would have had if I didn't mess up. So this guy. Who needs warp when warp taxis exist? That is true. Kill this one. So this one, not a kill. Wow, that one's strong. No, actually, my character is just weak. So this one, there we go. You absorb the horse while reclassing. That's that's pretty cursed. Don't don't say that again. So this guy, warp here to kill the archer. Kill this guy with Jotaro. Actually, no, I, I can kill this guy with Jotaro.
Nice. Art sealer is a vacuum cleaner. Uh, another fire kill here. Oh, that's savage blow. I didn't do anything. Hmm, not a kill. How do I do this now? I think it's probably okay, just... Let's attack. I don't think you can kill anyone, right? There's no one in range of anything that's that's actually vulnerable. Like, I guess your Taro. I can, I can block him off, though. Yeah, we're okay. Everyone everyone just, like, finishes him on a counter-attack. I don't think you can kill anyone. Oh, Leo got... enfeebled. Okay, we're good. Horse retires the Iron Eden. That, that's just what they want you to believe. What do you think the the meats you have in, in the my castle is made of? It's horses. Actually, I can level Jotaro here. That's pretty good. How do you think they make horse spirits, girls? Oh, man. Yeah, it's 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 the horse's spirit. They go to the big stable in the sty. After this chapter, we have chapter. This is chapter fourteen, right? I guess fifteen is Corin. We can train Corin there. Get the speed wing. Give the speed wing to Charles. Use horse to pay rent. It's actually a perfect kill. Let's do it. Han's spirit. Shelter. Transfer away. Easy. So I gentle the best weapon of fates. Probably, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a very good combination of damage. And just like killing things. Killing things is always good in fates, right? Let's try to get Jatar to level 21. If we can. Wow, Strength Seeker is really ramping up here. It's a lot of strength. That's a lot of strength now. How much is that from Strength Seeker? Plus, plus 10. God damn. Plus 10 already. Man, DLC items are broken. I love them. Yeah, we can kill this. Kill one of these guys. Okay, let's just, let's just do it. Think later. Res Taker Hefto next? It probably Defense Taker might be better. But doing the map will be hard. But then we can, we can warp. And throw a, a Javelin? It's my weapon, the throwing club. Oh fuck, you got me. That's 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 too accurate. It's too close to home. The throwing club, no. Strength plus defense taker. You can only have one taker skill, actually. They don't let you go that broken. They only can only have one taker skill. They only let you have one as a treat. Very good. They only let you have one of those. <sighs> yeah, they you only you can only benefit from one of them. I think is the this is the topmost one maybe. Does it include life taker? No, no, it doesn't. It's different because like life taker is like not like the DLC taker skills. Don't let you have one because IS hates fun. Uh, it depends, really. I think there's like there's a certain line that needs to be crossed, right? Did Charles get hexed? Yeah, he did. I can get, either get XP or I could just not, because I can get even more on like chapter sixteen, and it's probably a better time to do it because it's mandatory. I just I just be wasting time if I get XP here.
But here's the plan. I have Goro. I think this is what I did last time. I have someone fly down and grab the treasure, and I immediately run away and I kill the boss. Immediately. The boss has counter magic, but that's a bit of a problem. Like, the counter magic is a bit of a problem, but, like, I can probably solo him with, like, Quattro now, with the sword. And just give him, like, EP's Iron Sword and just kill him. Or a Steel Sword. Mr. Taro Cannon? Oh, I, I could do that. I probably could, actually. But then, I don't think he does enough damage. Actually, wait! He's got a lot of strength now. Maybe that... 20... Oh, shit! Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Maybe we got something here. 25 damage cannon. Oh, the strength taker gives it makes his cannon much more powerful. Hmm. Yeah, I could get let Hepto get entrapped too. But like the other plan is I just like walk up and I kill him with like a burden trap. No, I think we're okay. I can just move up here. I can just kill him actually. That's fine then. If that's the case, then I can go down and grab the treasure with Goro. Where's Goro? Let's go here, switch, grab the chest. 10k, very nice. Let's go here and kill the boss. 100% accurate. It cannot, it cannot go wrong, no matter how, how, how hard I try. Arrows of light from the heavens? Yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah. Very good. Truly Chitaro's quest? Yeah. This is truly a Chitaro quest. Like, 3 XP. Fine. Okay. Chapter 14 done. Grim Yato. Can't use it. Level 1 fires block arrows? Yeah, it's like... I still have Leo. Do I, huh? Did Keaton die? I, for I forgot to kill Keaton. Wow. Can't believe it. What a mess. Yeah, you, you can just beat the map by killing the boss. You don't have to clear the whole map. People, Everyone does it because, like, you get XP. And it's very valuable in Conquest, but you don't need to do it. So let's, let's maybe buy... Nosferatu. Lightning, I feel like it's a bit not that good. Uh, what else do I get? Actually, all of this can wait. I don't need it yet. Big Kongs of Corn. I think Corn might just be good enough, but I guess I might as well. So Seraph Rope, who gets it? Maybe Hepto could use it. I think. I think Hepto should get all my, get more health. I want him to get like even stronger. It's like I need. I can give the Seraphro to prevent him from being one shot by crits. That's probably better than anything else. I'd rather just give Hepto it and not think. Oh, I, I can also even reclass Hepto back into his proper class. Yeah, let's 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 give him back his, his real class. Wait, do I need the hard suit for anything else? I guess I need it for Jotaro. Wait. Where's my next heart seal? Because I need- I, I guess I need to reclass Jotaro. Get one in Conquest. Oh, okay, only get it next one at vendor level 3. I might- this might have to wait. Next heart seal 16. Really? I don't remember. Do you guys remember? I don't think there's anything on chapter 16, right? On the one hero. Oh yeah, the hero, okay. In that case, yeah, let's let's just use it. Let's go back to Heart General.
Staff Source 2 sells a few? Yeah, I already used them though. I already used them. Doubling Capital Gaming? Yeah, it's surprisingly useful. Okay, so, um... Can't use the swords anymore. Give everyone what more weapons, I guess. Jutaro, uh, no more swords for Takumi. That's chapter 23, that can wait until later. But thing is, for, uh, this is so okay, because now I can attack without dying from a crit, because I get plus 10 defense on armor blow. So when I initiate, I can have as much as a 60 defense. So that way, even like, I guess maybe Avengers crit could still kill me, but like, but, uh, the crits from a, uh, whatchamacallit, just a crit from, a mere crit from Takumi and Ren Heaven is not enough to kill me anymore. So I think let's buy tonics. Actually, do we do we even need to buy tonics for Corrin? I don't think so. I mean, I get give Corrin a better weapon though for sure. I guess I can I can't. This bronze lance. Yeah, this is just like a flat plus fifteen damage, and that in the crit isn't too much unless you have overkill defense. So yeah, let's let's do Gunter chapter really fast. Get the speed wing. Should be fine. No big deal. Yeah, this. I don't have healing items though. Hmm. Actually, I should dump the vulnerabilities into the convoy just to make sure. Let's put all this in the convoy. Oh, there's the Gumi's elixir. Very nice. I'll put it in the convoy just so I have backup just in case. Yeah, I think they were automatically, like, given because of, um... Yeah, we're fine. What is that 16 defense with pair up? He's got, like, a lot. Let's, let's, let's start advancing. Wait, do I have a... I don't have a javelin. Oh, man. Oh, I guess Gutzer has one, so we can borrow it. There we go. Wait, that's a lot of damage. Hold on a second. Wait. Wait a second. Oh no. I'm taking a lot of hits. Okay, we're, we're still fine. Gunter almost died. No, he didn't almost die. He, like... He's, he was getting dangerously close to maybe being close to dying. That's a bit different. Let's go back and heal. Just in time for a lost run? I don't think so. Probably fine. I mean, that's, like... Obviously, like a cursed thing to say before, like actually having a problem. But um, who cares? I I love tempting fate. Imagine challenging fate. Just like wh why not tempt it instead? I think that's more fun. Not that good, huh? You said the title of the game? Yeah. Like, Fire Emblem Fates. Okay, let's enemy phase that guy. Let's run away here. How early did you get a Shining Bone Rev? I think you had to buy it. 
I don't think you can get it for free. Not in Rev, right? And right, like that that's the case, right? You can't get it for free in Rev. Let's kill this guy. I think you can get it with the level level two shop. Chapter 21, okay. But like you can get it as early as chapter 13 or 14. Because that's when the level two shop unlocks. At level two dusk. Oh! I can't access the convoy, fuck. Oh, it's, it's planning to use a stronger healing item. I think this will have to do. There's only one enemy over there, right? Okay, you missed. Uh, I was planning to use a, a concoction. That was a bit of a jump scare. Ah, oh, man. I need to stop, like, doing mistakes. If only were that easy. This guy. I think I have pair up here so I can corner and can counter attack and kill. Just, just one guy. Not thinking in doing mistakes is funny to watch. That is also true. But like, it, it gotta win at some point, right? You do have to win at some point, don't you? So like, you can't always just mess up. Longest day, I, I, more money I get off of it. It's not about that. I mean, I guess in part it is about that. But it's not just about that, right? It helps cushion the losses, but it doesn't like negate them. It still sucks to lose, no, no matter what. Especially if it's like I mess up and yeah. I think if I do it this way, only one guy attacks me. And I, I can shield gauge for the next one. We're okay. There we go. Here, I think I switched to Corrin. Kill one. And I heal on the other side. Grab a concoction to heal. Ooh, there we go. Time to turn 10, so let's start rushing towards the boss. This is actually not as good as last time because last time I had the um last time I had a shuriken. I had shurikens to fight the enemies, but now I don't. I just have like bad weapons like swords and lances. Mostly lances. No, lances aren't that good here. I'll separate here. And heal on the other side. Actually, I don't I don't need to heal yet. I can do that next turn. I'll just I'll just be on standby to escape this turn. Wanna cut these javelin now? I guess, but like it's not as good. It's not that good. It's a lot of damage, but we're not in range of anyone. That was a bit scary, but it's still okay. Yeah, heal with concoction here. I leer one or two of these guys with Gunter, I guess. Hmm. Let's just let's kill this guy. 
javelin pair up. Very good, night kill. Easy. No flame shuriken. Yeah, flame shuriken did a lot of work last time. It's especially hard because I'm playing a man down technically here. I, I normally you would have a zero. So actually, let us do some math. This guy does 30 damage. This guy is 20. So if this guy attacks first, he does like three, and then he poison strikes me. That's 20 percent of my HP. That's like six or seven. Let's say seven. That's like 10 damage, and then I get hit by, I get debuffed again. I get debuffed, probably minus four, like a 16 defense. And he gets this guy hits me for 14, and he dual strikes again. I think I'd rather just fight the lancer. Zero is a blank unit for people that aren't me. I mean, you still have a zero who can dance, right? That's that's a huge difference. No matter how you cut it. It's like still twice as many actions on Corrin and Gunter. I think it's like three actions instead of two. So I guess it's a bit more than that, but you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. It's a lot more actions. And that makes all the difference, really. Wait, do I not have... I, I can get I can get a sword for Gunter here. That works a little bit. My clones can't dance. Oh right, yeah. Hmm. That is true. It's still it's still another unit to help pair up pair up and to pair up and avoid dual strikes. So again, it's not it's not awful. It's not a bad thing to have a zero on the other side. A bit of, she's a bit of vulnerability. But like you, you can you can do pair up shenanigans for it, and to avoid being dual strike, and that's really important. Not being dual striked. Let's just attack these guys with like my javelin. I don't think I can make it to the boss, really. I don't think I can make it to the boss. Got his icon. At least I got, I got one thing out of it. But maybe I can sneak past a lot of these enemies, and that might work. But can I freeze these guys from up here? No, it's too far away. Never mind. I'll use more vulnerabilities here to heal. The same thing about Rinko on Trainer Mozu. I mean, yeah, I guess. But like, a lot of characters aren't really liabilities if you if you make them good. But that's kind of like the the hip is always the biggest thing there, right? So seven, wait, seven move. I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That can run away from them and go around and try to sneakily kill the boss. I think that might work. Wait, let me see how many moves I have. And I will need to move in a way that so I don't get blocked. They might move here to block me. So I probably need to like, these, these are woods. Ah, so be it. I'll decide next turn. Turn 16. I need to sneak around entirely if I can. But they might surround me. I do have freeze. That is true. I do have freeze. Does this guy start with a sword or an axe? Sword. Okay. So I have weapon triangle bandages on both of my guys. He's got 20... Oh, I'm actually one speed away from doubling. If only I had a tonic. If I had a tonic, this would be much easier. I'm actually one speed away from doubling. Oh, I do have Enfeeble though. That, 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 that works. Enfeeble works. I can Enfeeble him as I approach. Let's have this Gunter heal, I guess. I 
I could maybe use boots on him if I really need to, but uh, he's probably okay. The worry I have is that, um, yeah, these pies are probably gonna gang up and kill me. Gunter is too weak here. Oh, heal from Corrin? No, I I spent the turn trading stuff over and I messed up a little. But it's probably still okay. But I can freeze. I just hope I can still move into the in in, in the way, right? Because if they surround me, it's, it's over in terms of like trying to get through. Let's. I'm not even in freeze range, huh? Wait, who is in range here? This guy with the javelin. Hmm, that's bad. Reason axe lad. I'm not really in range to do it. Maybe if I go like, if I go here, I'm not in even range to freeze. I can try to go deeper in, or I could probably go up here. Maybe it's not. It doesn't quite work. Is that settle for the soldier spirit dust? I guess. Yeah, I would just settle for that. And I can take an attack, a dual strike, the soldier here, the javelin. I can, I can, I can do that. Yep, jab range. I think I might have to take that and just get out. Wait, turn eighteen. Yeah, I'll just have to settle for that. I can't get anything else. I got the, I got the wrong guy. Fuck. Um. One more turn then. One more turn. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Oh fuck! Gunter died. I mean, that's okay. I can still run away, but, um... Oops. Uh... Because he's dead too, right? Hell Gunter. Yeah, I think I can still kill this guy. Then I can run away. Yeah, I got enough. Yeah, let's get the spirit doesn't leave. Uh, let's, let's, get the, let's get the coke and get out of here. Spirit dust, toss it into the convoy, and leave. Average Gunter. <laughs> Avenged Gunter. Oh, I thought it said Average Gunter, as in like, this is an Average Gunter. Oh, Jacob is alive, huh? Surprising. How are things going? I just beat chapter 15. I can move on to the ninja map. I mean, not not the ninja map yet. The um, what should I call it? Oh, hex! Wait, is is that a hex lock spear? Yo, this changes everything. This changes everything. Hold on a sec. That's plus eight res. That's actually amazing. That is the best weapon that I could have gotten. I can probably endlessly tank through the rest of the game with this. Yo, that's crazy. That is crazy. And this only happens because I have living characters to give me items. That's why I haven't been giving have, have zero my castle items because everyone's been dead. Let's go. Leo Shep won me the run. Yeah, he gave me he gave me the the weapon of legends, the Hexlock spear. Okay, let's let's give the uh spirit dust the trim, I guess. Got us icon to Hapto, so he gets crit less. And so he, and he also hits more. Uh, let's update everyone's stats. Base Leo, yeah, Leo is so yeah. Leo is amazing. He's such an amazing character. He gave me this weapon. Now this is a, now let's do uh hmm. Eleven is the one. Yeah, this is this is the run. I think. Lodestar might actually. Hmm. What do you think is a good candidate for Lodestar? Maybe Ipe. I can just give him the class, so he can he can get the 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 the. Actually, 
Let's make Ipe into a low star. He's not using his other weapons anyway. More skill on Lux. He doesn't get crit. The stats aren't as good, but that's fine. Let's just do it. He, he can always use more speed. And I can always... I can get like the... I can get some really nice skills out of this. Man, it looks so scuffed. Thick Miller, 15 bucks. To honor his actions, he may rest peacefully using Vanguard's $5 from like two hours ago. Right, I think that went on to Flora, actually. But, Leo, okay. I think the five went to, on to Flora. But I'll, I'll just- As I'll a friend, dead. you are replaceable. I'm, I'm just willing to kill Farewell. people anyway. We're close enough. I'm okay with having discounts now. No, the other five dollar. The other one. Okay, yeah, sure. All oh, right, from like when I was when I was ranting. That was from when I was ranting about like sequels and shit. Hey, Smithy. Why is his hair white? I think it's um all generics have white hair. Even despite whatever they look like. Fire plus four? Yeah, actually. We should actually make it like fire plus four. These are like 8k cost tomes. Oh that's that's not the um I hate many things. Yeah, that's that's true. Like, it's, it's it's easier to talk about what we don't like than to justify what we do like. I guess the sprite here is a bit bugged out. I'm not sure what's going on here. Because disliking something is always easier than liking something. Because you don't need to justify why you dislike something, because, like, you can always talk about it. But justifying why you like something always invites argument. Okay, let's buy 16 more least hateful at VTuber. No, I think I, I'd rather be the most hateful one. I think that's more interesting. Where's my fire tomes? Okay, let's buy 16 fire tomes. 8k. Positive all engaged? I, I guess. I'm, I'm being I'm being a bit of a hypocrite here. But being a hypocrite doesn't matter. As long as it's not for things that actually like are important. You can be a hypocrite about whatever random garbage you like, as long as it's not about stuff that people actually care about. I mean, a video game? Come on, it's a video game. Who cares about consistency on views on the video game, huh? What would a fire forge look like? Okay, let's just do chapter 16. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't... I actually do... I'm actually very positive for Engage because, like, it does look pretty fun. It was mostly because, like, I... It's it's typical fire formula, right? It's, it's like, that, that part is visible to the eye. You can see it. Like, you, you know that's gonna happen, right? That's not something you can, like, contradict because, like, it's... I, I look at the evidence that I see, and I look see you... I like what I see. I don't think there's, like... Like, it's not like I'm being, like... I'm not... I'm not only... I don't hate things just for the sake of hating things, right? There's, like, purpose behind it. I think let's let's leave Jacob and Leo on the bench for now, so I can use them as fodder later. Sure, I guess Leo's dead. I don't need that much fodder this time though, so let's just kill Ike and Keaton for now. Keaton, I don't think I, I don't think I got the bounty for him yet. I mean the the life insurance. So actually, let's let's make it simple. Let's do Keaton and Leo first. And we have Xander too, the chapter, and that's that's probably it. 
Let's go. Let's, let's try to train Jotaro. And I can use the hard skill to reclass into a sniper. Uh, how do I do this? I think you may just go up to attack these guys. And then, like, someone goes here to, to fight this guy. 31 attack. I think Quattro can do it. I get paired up against, but that's fine. I just need to lure them out a bit. Uh, Xander, unequipped weapon. Mio, unequipped weapon. Eden, unequipped weapon. Jotaro, attack with a cannon for a million damage. 15 damage, goddamn. Very impressive. If you hope the characters are fun, they feel so cardboard. I mean, can you really tell from that? What can you really tell from like... Like the one letter of dialogue from the first appearance, right? I mean, it depends. I'm sure they'll have all their quirky character traits in their support conversations. Like, the broad overarching narrative is not as important, I think, to the Fire Room experience as you might think. One shot. There we go. Change them all through all the outfits? Uh, I don't- I don't think they're that bad. They're just more colorful than usual, but, yeah. Oh wait, I can teleport. What am I thinking? I keep forgetting about the teleport feature. I think I had to like, like move and like range, or like actual characters. But I can just, yeah. With three houses, I got a better glance of the personality. I mean, technically, I guess. You think the expectation would be like new games will be bad? That is true. That we haven't really seen much. Much that was actually deep in any way to any of the characters, but like, they're not gonna like drop like like a like a Dimitri backstab reveal, a, a Dimitri crazy reveal stuff in the, in the trailers, right? I mean, I, I'm also not sure they'll actually do something like that at all. But like, I'm just saying, anything that's particularly interesting, like, they don't really drop that in the trailers. I mean, I guess maybe they did, because, like, they, they kind of did reveal that Dimitri went a, a bit off the rocker with, like, the, uh, the class reunion thing. But that cutscene, that, like, doesn't really matter, you know? Okay, bye, Keaton. Keaton's dead. And before Dragon's crazy because of dementia? Oh shit, Leo got- wait, what? Got criticaled? God damn. Hey, where's Leo? I Ar already marked him dead, never mind. R rest in peace, Leo. You handed us the, uh, the Hexlock Spear. That's enough to, mar to mark your, your contributions. For all eternity. Damn, I, I get hit by critical hits by all these guys? That's crazy. Let's kill this guy. It just became dust. Yeah, it's... That was pretty insane. He just got instantly killed. I mean, ultimately, like, the tropes... It doesn't matter which tropes you use. They're just tropes. The, the, what's really important is the journey we have along the way, right? I say that unironically. Because, like, ultimately, it's... Execution can be whatever. I mean, the basis of the story can be whatever, but execution is everything. You can execute, like, a, a more boring premise well. Or it can, like, make- it can squander a really good one. That part, like, I mean, we all know that, right? Most- most fates- most Fire Emblem stories have a very good premise. They never really follow up properly. Because they don't need to. Go to kill Shura? I think Shura lives, actually. He's not dead. 
No one... No one pulled for him. But, like, the premise is what sells. And execution, like... It had a very good surface level execution. Because, like... And ultimately, that's all that really matters for the most part. You can justify a lot of faults just by, like... Doing whatever, right? Hey, let's cannon this guy. Hmm. But I I don't think it's that much of a problem. I'll probably enjoy it regardless because I have I have I, I trust that the game will be interesting enough on a base level that like it's not really I'm not worried that like the presentation will be bad because like it seems like it's going a complete direction different direction like three houses right so I'm not worried about that I'm mostly worried about like the things I'm wor worried most about are not the things that are, that are particularly important to me. It's like the story being bad, I I, I can stomach it, right? I, I I can find some way to enjoy it. The gameplay being bad, that's a problem, right? I can't... There's no, nothing I can rationalize to help bad gameplay. But most other things, I can probably deal with. Oh. Let's... Let's, uh... Shadow Dragon is widely enjoyed? Is it? I mean, Shadow Dragon's story isn't bad, it's just very simplistic and minimal. And that's probably why it's not... it's better. Because there's less option, like... Why do you talk too much? Right? It's very easy for you to say some, like... Some... Bad thing... That... Discredits the rest of the story. And that's ultimately what happens with Bates. It says too much. It talks too much. And because it talks too much, like, everything, most of it, like, becomes devalued. That's why Fates is bad. Because it has, Fates has good elements. But it just keeps going a lot of the time. And I feel like that's a mistake many stories make. They just keep going. When they should have stopped. I, I believe in... I believe... That brevity is a soul of wit. I think, as, as many would say. Basically, tell them, show them. I'm saying, you can, you can tell. Just don't talk too much, otherwise you're going to expose your bad writing. I'm, I, you, 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 you definitely can. Like it's if you talk too much, you, the more you talk, the more you risk, uh, like writing more shitty things that suck. And so you, I think you should avoid to say as little as you can. Just say only the good bits. Don't say the bad bits. Have the good parts of the story. Don't have the bad parts of the story. And that way, you have less risk of, like, ruining your story. <laughs> right? Write good things. Don't write bad things. Write as little bad things as possible. Minimize the amount of bad things. That's, that's my philosophy. Because, like, no matter... If you keep writing... You will inevitably write something that's bad. Just by, like low quality. And the less less of those things that you make, the better you'll, you'll, you'll better off you'll be. Only be good. And if you can't be good all the time, then do less. Because like, of course, every, everyone can make something good, right? But yet no one can be consistently good throughout everything. And it's important to know your limits here. Oh nice. Luna crit. Master Seal. Well, this guy has a Heart Seal too, right? Just don't think? No, you, always, you should always think. It's just that, like, sometimes you just, you just need to know when to quit. You see, like, not, not everything you put out will be gold. Just write good story, don't write bad story. Actually, yes. But it's not just that. It's it's like... If you have the option to not write bad story, don't write it. Because you, you, you don't have to write everything. That's the problem with, like, Fire and Fates. Like, you just, like, when you have Corrin, like... 
going on 2,000 words soliloquies about how, like, it's bad to kill people, right? Like, we get it. You don't have to say it all the time. You only have to say it, like, once. It just, it just, it just keeps reinforcing, like... Like, it's, it's not... It's not hard to not write. But, like, it's a mistake that, like, is, is continually committed all the time. It's hard to write good things, exactly. And that's why you should, you should strive to like, it's, it's because it's hard to write good things that you should keep things short. Because like, if you don't write a good thing, you'll write a bad thing. And then the bad thing will poison the good things. Oh, I already talked this one, okay. And that's why, like, a lot of earlier games are so, like, m more well-praised, and why, like, newer ones aren't as much, right? Because, like, they just, like, they- back, there were more limitations. So they only had to, like, they only had to show the good stuff. Now, like, they have all the room in the world. Now, like, there's- now, like, the overall quality has not necessarily gone up. Because, like, there's the good stuff, but then there's also the bad stuff. Okay, I mean that's a oh, it's a it's a pretty reductive way of thinking of things, I think, but I I, I think it's it speaks true to my own experience. And at the end of the day, that's it matters. That's the only thing that matters. To me, at least, what, what I think about how the story, how these things work, you think it's pretty exaggerated, but it's just like there's just more to criticize in a bigger story. That that's the gist of it, right? You can you can always like there's more to poke holes into. How much speed does this guy have? 19 speed, damn. I think I can teleport here. Can I kill this guy? Who can I kill this guy with? I'm gonna go on Xander here and like throw a javelin or something. This is actually fine. Wait, that's in range of this guy. That's a problem. Wait, no, it's not. This guy's range is over here. It, I can let I can let archers attack. I can let those mercenaries attack. Quattro, no problem. That's not a big deal. We're fine. And now I can teleport in with trim, warp, and take out the hero. Very good. Didn't get too much time to make something more ambitious. Yeah, it's. I guess that's the other thing you can say. That, like, having too much ambition. Being too ambitious is also a curse, too. Oh, wait, fuck. Oh, wait a second. Am I getting. Oh, no. I'm getting hit by the Shining Bull guy. 22 speed. Oh, fuck. I'm getting hit by the Shining Bull guy. Maybe I freeze him. I, I got, maybe it's gotta freeze him. Ah, uh, I, I miscalculated the range. I want to keep my rescue staff, and just in case it get far enough to do it. I was like, I was the one that was too ambitious. You might be right there. Yeah, this is a problem, because this guy, I think the hero goes like plus 5 speed or something, something crazy. Maybe I don't get doubled, actually. I would, yeah, if I don't get doubled, it's probably not that big of a deal, right? He does 31 damage. 31 damage, and I have 28 speed, right? Trade Hexlock. Oh! That is actually a brilliant idea. That is some, that is, that is some top tier strategy. Now that's strategy. I can trade the Hexlock Spear. Now he has like a million resistance. 25 resistance. Yeah, there's no way he's dying from that. That's actually brilliant. Wait, where's my master seal? I guess I need a hard seal back into outlaws to promote. But yeah, and actually that actually works perfectly. Strategy and motion, yeah. The benefits of having a chat are things are moments like this. 
Oh, fucking feeble. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Ugh. We're good. If he doubled me, that would have been a problem. But, we're good now. Might actually get a decent amount of money from this chapter, too. Because, um... Okay, let's kill this guy. Let's end him. The sword. I guess I'm- I guess I'm enfeebled, so I can't kill him easily. These guys don't move except for this one, so, um... Maybe I can kill him over the wall with magic. Can I one-shot him with magic? 26, not enough. Maybe I just got- I think I just gotta, like, ballista him. Just to just soften him up a little. I have guard gauge? Well, I'd rather one-shot him if I can. Kill this guy. Next lock spear this guy, I guess. Luna kill, very good. Kill this guy with magic, 100% accuracy, very good. Now all these guys are out of range, so I don't need to worry about them. I can kill this guy. Almost a one shot. Alright, I guess I can just finish off with anyone. Ah, I'll just attack with Hepto. Who needs the XP? There's a heart seal. I can probably reclass Jotaro pretty soon. Debuffed. They attack Quattro, but don't do anything. Very good. I'll kill one and beat the other Jotaro. This is a huge hero bias. Yeah, a lot of lot of things about phasers undermined by the rest of the story. That's the thing. They wrote too much. Like it was just one path, right? I guess there's just a problem with uh with multiple routes. So, like the routes undermine each other. Like that doesn't have to happen, right? Like some games do it okay, but Fates definitely didn't do it well enough. With the oh shit, that's a bad level of skill. Fates definitely didn't do it right, but like it's hard to do it right in general. Okay, let's use Xander to bait the adventurer, so we can we can murk him next turn. Maybe give the kill to Jotaro, and then we can reclass him maybe into a sniper. Oh wait, that one that that one doesn't move either. Huh. That's that's actually that's actually fine. Kill this guy. That was actually pretty inaccurate. I shouldn't have done it, but that's okay. The concept was complex, not the execution. But I mean, the concept's all you need to sell, right? Everything else is like, you don't need. Oh, attack with Xander. Oops. That's, that's embarrassing. Okay. Yeah, it's like, it's just very easy to write too much. And then when you write too much, then like, the rest of it isn't as good. So it's best to only present the good parts and not, and just not show the bad parts. Aggressively pruding your stuff, I think it's a good policy. And I, I do that, too. I do that for my, a lot of my things. Which is why my, most of my videos are so short. It's basically because like, it's, it's, I tried to write the, as much of the good thing as possible, as little of the, of the bad thing. Because sometimes, like, it's, yeah. It's tough. It's hard. Writing is hard. And that's why, like, again, writing is hard, which is why you should do as little of it as possible. You should tr actively try to seek the amount of writing that you do. Because if you don't, then you, you get, like, you, you, write, you, you write bad things that aren't good. And the best, the best thing you can do about writing is to not write bad things. Oh, 
Oh, I can warp. Right. I can warp, huh? You're forgetting about this. I can warp. The biggest problem is they want to try too many things. Yeah, and yeah, they, they wrote too much. I mean, I guess it's a, it's it's a, it, it is a simplified way of looking at it. It really is. But like, it's part of it. The, if they were less ambitious, right? They could have written less. But even if they were being ambitious, they didn't have to write as much as they did. But again, this is like, this is my opinion. Probably not even like necessarily complete whatever, right? Oh, Xander didn't die. Fuck. Ah, uh, okay. I guess I guess he'll have to die to Shara then. Chrom's problems came from Robin stealing the spotlight. Eh. I don't. I don't. I don't actually dislike Awakening Story that much. I mean, I guess there's some chunks that were bad, but like that's in the middle. It's not at the end. Some things, so, like, some lapses are more forgivable. It's easier, it's better for something to be bad at the end than bad at the start. Or the end. Like, it's e if it's bad in the middle, that's more tolerable than being bad anywhere else. Nice, counter. Like, if you're gonna be bad somewhere, you should be bad somewhere in the middle. I skipped the entire of the vowel mark? Yeah, but that's okay, because like, it was filler, but it wasn't that offensive. It didn't offend me on a personal level. It's because it was in the middle that the filler was like, more tolerable. And we've been over this already? I'm sure we have, but like, I'm still, still gonna talk about it. Okay, so, uh, do I reclass now? I think I reclass later, after the next chapter. Because, um... I need the Ballista to trip down the ninjas. So I don't reclass yet. Now let's just kill him. Should we kill Shura? Hey, where did the, where did the audio go? Oh, well, yeah, let's not kill him. Is it lighting like that? I think there's like a bug that happens sometimes. Congratulations. Congratulate. The other thing about base is that it's just inconsistent. And inconsistency is something, like, I guess... It's one of the few things I can't really forgive in a story is being inconsistent. Because everything... Actually, no. I'm... I'm... That's wrong. Inconsistency is, like, the easiest thing to criticize. And it's the easiest thing to point to when you don't like something. But it's not really that bad all the, like in, at the end of the day, really. It's just how big of a deal you make out of it. I'm saying I'm it's it's Yeah. I never beaten the Kago Sun where Shara was spared. That is true. Alright, we're almost to the ninja map. And I guess we should do it today. And then we can go with 18 tomorrow. Hmm. I think they might have to be un undeployed this chapter, though. But... The question is, like, what do I even... Eh... Envo... Do I have another heart seal? I guess I don't. I can't promote Penvo yet. Hmm... If you shot the killer bow. Yeah, that's an idea. I'm gonna do that. 
at it for today. I think maybe I can keep going, but uh, if we do this today, we can do 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I'm not sure how far I can go today anymore. But maybe, maybe one more chapter. Let's go one more chapter. Because it shouldn't be that bad, because like, I mean, come on, Hepto has a million defense. Can't be hurt. The one challenge might be to like, get the speed wing. And I kind of want it. Because like, what else do we have in that chapter? Like a Master Seal and some gold, right? Uh, chapter 17, Conquest. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Uh, what was it called? Dead of Betrayal? That was, that was, that was the name. One big question is, can we beat the boss? Because if we can beat the boss, really, okay, so we got Master Seal on 5k. Master Seal on 5k, so I, I can pass on the 5k. And the XP I can get later. So if I can really beat them out really fast, it might be possible for me to just like grab the um I could just I could just kill if I can kill Kotor really fast. The XP I can get later. If I can rush through, I can kill the boss really fast. Only seven speed though. And with the flame shuriken, he's got 26 attack. Theoretically, Hepto with the Hexog Spear takes no damage ever from anyone on this map. Does trap size in the treasure room? Uh, it's harder than you think to do that. I think it's better if I just play the map normally. Oh, I have full deployment this chapter. Very nice. And then I can use Shura, I can use Ike. Guitar was here too. Maybe I can just do it. Yeah, let's just do it. Nothing too hard. Let's let's try to save Saizo if we can, but if he doesn't, no no big worry. Where's my hand axe? I should probably give that to Who has my hand axe? Was it on I need to give the axes to my guys. Envoy, okay. So turn one, I think Saizo goes up this way. I don't want to stop him from doing this. Hexlock, Hexlock 1 to 2? No, it's not. Who is the bait? I guess Ike is bait. I can use Ike as bait. Let's go here, give the hand axe. He disarms turn one. Yeah, I know that. He always aims to disarm if he can. I think maybe I just. Who's the best pair up here? I guess maybe it's like probably Pendable because it's useless otherwise. That gives me another move. I march Hepto up to like start killing with the hand axe. They're gonna move in, but that's fine. I remember last time I did some heal loop with like Falchions, and that I don't think I can replicate that this time. I don't like being hit. I don't like dam taking damage, but I just have to deal with it. So let's try to block him if I can. I may not be able to completely. What are you guys arguing about in the chat? The supports? Okay. I have no interest in that conversation. Oh, 
Oh, they're being healed. I think this might be the best place to, like, get this narrow corridor. Might be the best place to get Sizo stuck. Kill here. And then I can go here and kill here. There we go. Uh, maybe even Rory can get some XP here. Probably not. So my opinion. On, is that oh probably the advantage? What are my opinions on three houses morals? I think any any story that is as route based and has route based morality. It doesn't quite work, right? I guess there's a matter of like analysis of like consequentialism there. But like it kind of doesn't matter at the end of the day if like the story is like uh, it's just written by a person, right? Everything's too general. Okay, that's nice. I got, I got him stuck, actually. With only, like, this many characters. I can use the rest to clear the map. That's good, actually. That's actually really good. But it depends on what you want to get out of it, right? If it's like, a, you want a character drama out of it, sure. But, like, it's just... I think three houses might be one of the less interesting ways to analyze morality. Because again, like it's like I mean, come on, it's 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 a fictional story. Is X justified or is Y justified? Like it doesn't matter. And the people who use, who argue about three houses, they don't argue about the facts of the story because, like, that would be, that'd be too easy. What they did instead do is that they argue about real life morality, like, using it as a vehicle, which is fine too, I guess. But, like, it's, it's, you gotta figure out what they're actually talking about here. But, but people argue about, like, oh, was Edelgar right? They don't, they don't, they're not talking about Edelgar, they're talking about, like, consequentialism and ends justify the means morality as a whole. But using the story to justify those things, it's like, it's a bit less, it's, uh, I don't know. By right, that logic, no story matters? I'm not, I don't think I'm being, I don't, I don't think I'm descri- I'm, I'm conveying my thoughts accurately enough here. But yeah, things get messy when like, because... I just don't find it super interesting. And I think that's like... And that's 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 a fair thing to say. That's why it's not interesting to engage with because most of it isn't. It's just like, yeah, too much venom, not after discussion. Yeah, it's like it's all they're like talking about like other things. But yeah, I mean like really, oh, is it like the question of like. Is Edelgard right, right? The answer to that is like... Did she win? <laughs> did the story say she was okay? That's ultimately like... What any argument you think the story comes down to. And that's kind of like... Uninteresting to the max, right? But like everything else is not about... But when you go away from the story... It soon becomes about like, is this right in the real world? And the thing is that three houses is like a very inefficient vehicle to discuss that because three houses is not a real world. It is a fantasy world. You can't really like crests and you can argue whatever about crests, but like when people are really arguing about like the real life things, right? Because ultimately that's what they're really arguing about. When they argue about that, like, suddenly you're using, like, context of a fantasy world to justify things in the real world. And that's a bit strange, don't you think? 
it becomes too intertwined, and everyone has their own motives. Let's kill the advantage guy. But like, I I don't I'm not interested in de in debating real life politics about a video game. And I think that's the only way you can like really say like you don't want to do that is that you're not interested in it. I mean, I think that's the only real way that it makes sense. I don't think it's bad. I just find it not interesting. Train Jitaro? Uh, I will soon, but like. I think I wanted to train as a sniper. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll just I'll just I'll just class change him immediately because sniper has better speed growths. Would I have to an eternal seal? Probably not. I don't think it's a good idea. I mean, I might get a couple of like HP growths out of it, but it's not. I don't think it's that worth it. Edogard is trying to commit dragon. Blah 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 blah. I don't care. Are you serious trying to argue this? Are you are you kidding me right now? Are you guys actually arguing in the chat about dragon politics? You guys are ridiculous. It was a joke. <laughs> but the no skills I want capital having? I think he already has most of them. All the good ones, at least. Maria 2024. Oh, fuck off. Let's kill this guy. Oh wait, maybe I can even... Actually, I think I might have saved Saizo here. Oh right, actually, I think I've saved Saizo. It's actually great. Here's the plan. I just have Jotaro pair up. And I just kill everything with Hepto. Nothing else matters, just... just Wait, actually, maybe I pair up with a with like Goro or someone's lockpick. Tempo doesn't have lockpick. He never let leveled up. Where's Goro? Is he alive? He's here. He's here. So let's put Penvo down here. Shira has lock touch. Oh right, he does. Okay, let's grab him. Oh, I guess I heal on accident. That's fine. I mean, ah, eh, fine. Let's let's use Shura and scrap the treasure. Then I think the XP I can get later. That's more important to get the XP. And if I can march to the boss, that is a win already. Actually, I need to kill these guys first. I'm gonna trigger reinforcements this way. The reinforcements ha happen like. I don't remember when they happened. I haven't gone this. I haven't gone like this way ever before. So I'm not sure. I think I will trigger reinforcement just by entering the boss zone. So I can grab the go. That's the most important thing. The the uh, master seal doesn't matter. Any reinforcements have pike splitters or axe splitters? Not really. And even if they did, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. This the this re reinforcements here are mostly like mechanists and ninjas and stuff. They're not that scary, relatively speaking, at least. Let me check the reinforcement zones. Reinforcements. Uh, after you reach column eleven, row fourteen, one third of the map, three fourths of the map. Let's think of the northwest and from the south. Hmm. It'll be hard to like. Yeah. This will be hard. 
I don't really know where, where the reinforcement zones really come in, actually. Do you guys know? Do you guys know about the reinforcements? I'm actually personally not too sure. Hmm. Yeah, you guys don't know. It's kind of it's kind of hard to say. I mean, at least I cleared out a lot of these guys early, so I can probably direct. Oh, I put sure into range. Fuck. Okay, that's fine. I can shelter him. Fuck. Oh god, damn it! I hate this. Okay. What is that? Is that an axe splitter? Okay, let's equip a lance then. Ah, fucking hell. I hope this doesn't trigger reinforcements. Okay, it didn't. That's good. First wave is the Shrine Maiden. Okay, so as long as I don't enter that, I should be okay. I could change your tower here a little. That'll be good. I can I can finally patch up his bad speed. Oh wait, fuck. Uh, I didn't have him unpaired. Problem. Okay, that's uh, I can trans. Oh no. Okay, I gotta warp in to to kill them all off. I gotta kill them all off now. I can just move in actually, that works too. Wait, this just works. Never mind, not a problem. I guess I still have to go through the slow way. There's no easy way to skip this map. I guess. Protecting size will be much harder than I thought. Because like the XP doesn't matter to me. I just want the uh I just want to be able to like get the speed wing. Okay, fine. Let's 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 rush through this way. This should be okay enough. And Maybe I can I can squeeze out another tile of movement. I can th free up a couple more units by going like this. Reinforces there, reinforces there. That's okay actually. That's tolerable. And oh, size is still blocked. Very good, very good. That's just enough space. So I think I I can take care of these guys here. I can have Heptil kill one side, and I can just fight the other side normally, I think. Fairly normally. Or wait, oh wait, I can, I can actually just retreat back into this zone. You know, three hours of time to just Dark Deity? I think Dark Deity came out with their, their, like, their fucking beach DLC or something. I haven't really looked into it because it's, again, like it's... Come on. It's chapter 17. Trim. Okay, let's. Yeah, they're they're beach DLC. Just cosmetic? No, I think it's like it's whole new map set and everything. It's not a joke. They actually just came out with their they just came out with the beach DLC straight up. Like it's it's, it's like a whole new set of maps. It's, it's a full it's a full like it's an it's a whole ass a whole ass expansion. Hmm. Let's get rid of Luna is not as good as I is not really that good. 22%. I'd rather have more consistent stats. Let's warp here. And am I playing the Fates Beach DLC? The DLCs are actually really hard on Lunatic. Like I oh fuck. Sizel got through. No! He's escaping! Oh damn it, I gotta hurry now. Got loose. 
Oh wait, maybe I can lock him in again, actually. I think... Actually, I can, I can lock him in again, on the other side. If I... If I activate the Dragon Vein... Then I think he gets stuck. Uh, not quite as stuck as I would have liked, but next turn I can do it. It goes there, so I can I can try to un I can stick him next turn, like this turn actually. And he goes has to go the long way around. It actually works, I think. And. Still can't fight this guy, wow. Even after all that work. Let's go... Go here. Go right next to the guy and then, uh... Warp. To kill him. Not enough, so I guess I attack with... Quadro. He's much stronger. In terms of damage. Uh... If I activate the vein, what does it happen now? I think I activate this one, actually. No, that, that actually unleashes enemies flanking me. I think I got away another turn. I like, think, actually, Sizzle is going upstairs this time. So that's actually perfectly fine in terms of, like, being safe. Now the question is, is Goro alive after this? Takes one hit. 14 damage. 24 speed. He doesn't get doubled, but I can have him pair up just to be sure. He gets hit by one guy, and then we're okay. I just need to make sure Silo doesn't like throw himself into combat, but I think he goes up. He goes up. He goes up here to try to disarm. So we're probably okay. Eight. There we go. We're okay. That hurts a lot, but ooh, oh man, we just barely. No, Silo, what are you doing? What are you doing, Silo? Don't fight. Yes, fine, I can heal, but damn, ah, uh, that's a clench moment. Did I kill this guy? You can finish this guy off with, with, with uh, Jotaro, very good. But Jotaro's actually surprisingly, he has a lot of skill, he's got a lot of accuracy. That's actually really good. It's something I'm very lacking in, in the rest of my characters, which is accuracy. Especially against ninjas. They're rough. Wrong character. There we go. I can heal with Jacob. I don't have a staff for him though. Ah, uh, okay. I can heal with. This is. I can use to walk all the way around. <sighs> okay, there we go. There we go. We got time now. I think the next reinforcements come from the top and the lower left. Right? The rein. Uh. They say northern border and southeast. Okay, so it's actually from from here and like here, I think, right this corner. Let's heal a bit. So, maybe I Dragon Vein next turn. Actually, Dragon Veining will lock him in. Oh, it locks him in the room. Oh, 
That works! He just gets locked in the room, huh? Enemies goes first, then Sizzle goes. So he, I can lock him in. That's usual strat. Okay, that makes sense. I, I'm not aware of it. I wasn't aware of it, but that's 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 good. We got him. We, we, we can put him in jail for a speed wing. We can illegally imprison him. Perfect. I, I can't go in there. Because then I get locked in too. Wait, that's probably fine, actually. I, I can teleport out. I have, who's on the backpack? Tenvo, okay. If I if I have Trim... I have Trim as the backpack. I can teleport out. After I drag Vayne inside. These are strats only I can do. Oh, wait. Then how, how do, the, do these guys get out? Actually, it's just fine. It's just talk to. That's actually fine. I can I can live with it. Wait. Wait, I'm 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 stupid. Yeah, the door will be unlocked, and I'll get myself killed if I leave out. Stay outside. Okay. Yeah. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm being stupid right now. I'm being extremely stupid right now. Yeah, Hepto can block it. That's the that's the new plan. Dragon Vein. All right, Sizzle's in jail. He's he's been arrested. Is that an armor slayer? Oh fuck! Actually, they, they can't even move. They can't not even move in range yet. Well, that's nice. They can't even hit me. They're literally not in movement range. Uh, the Armor Slayer guy is a bit scary, but it can't even be that much damage. Like, he does, like, what? 17 might plus 27 damage? 17 plus 27. That is 44. And with a defense pair off, I'm actually still fine. Yeah, it's not even... I can just let him hit me. He could lunge me though. That's a problem, but that's fine. Even if he lunges me, no one else can. No one else can attack. Yeah, one damage armor slayer. <laughs> Pathetic. Koshiro? Koshiro also has armor. Oh yeah. Oh, it, did, it didn't kill. I thought that was a crit, but it was just Luna. Okay. Shitaro. He, he, he could use the kill. There we go. Let's back up. I don't want to be hit. They're all balling up. Very good. I can get the kill here. Very good. Killer bow. No, the iron bow is more. I'd rather have more accuracy. My ideal weapon would probably be a forged iron bow. I'd rather have more accuracy than anything else here. I just keep beating Jitaro kills. Given the speed weighing, then he suddenly he's actually pretty good. Because once he gets a certain blow, he becomes my most accurate unit in the game. He's like literally my most accurate unit. Because he has like. 131 hit? Wow. He's got so much skill. And being able to like, accurately hit is like so important because he also has strength taker, which makes him like comically powerful, right? And once that gets going, like, ooh boy. Maybe oh shit! Maybe I can even get Jataro to the point where I can one shot Takumi. Probably not one shot, but at least like enough to like damage him significantly. One of the six with a hit against Fuga. Yeah, bows are strong against lances, and he starts with a lance. Jotaro's good now. Yeah, I'm surprised, like, how consistently good Jotaro is. Like, he was shit before, but that's because he wasn't leveled up. But I guess certain glow on him before, Jotaro, before Kotaro. I'm gonna try. Um, Luring these guys is gonna be hard, though, because, like... 
Uh, I need to get rid of the Caltrops, and that's proving to be a bit of a problem. I'm gonna disarm here. I think I might invite reinforcements soon. Ugh, those are hella inaccurate. I don't have any axes, do I? I guess I don't. I guess, J Jotaro, you're up. <laughs> oh man, that's so much accuracy. That's so crazy. How much accuracy he has. Hmm. Let's go here. Now I put Quattro Minori and Minori Warps, and I switch so I can I can have a sneaky Paladin attack from Minori. Warp is so good, man. Warp is so good. No reinforcements yet, still. I think I can go this way and then just block on one side. Just one shot, Lamo. Should have given kill to Chitaro. Uh, that is true. Can Chitaro kill the boss? League is doubled, so that's not really on the table. And I don't get the speed win until after the chapter. Yeah, Hoshido gets the best weapons. The anti, the effective against weapon weapons are insane. Especially for a lot of units because they have overkill accuracy. They're not as good as generics because generics have no accuracy. But like, for most characters, they're pretty nuts. Pound just did 40 damage with the Steel Lance. Uh, he's got cap, basically cap strength. And he's got like, he's got elbow room. He's, he's, he's pretty good. I think his strength, his strength is actually caps, wow. Remove bot? I don't see it. I actually do not see the- oh, there's one. You go draw aggro from the center near the cow traps. Uh, that's a pain. I think I can I can clear the enemies first. If I can clear enemies first, then we're good. Okay, it's only the final room that triggers reinforcement. That's fine. That's great. Because I can I can weaken everyone. And then just and this and feed the XP to more worthy characters. I can even get the master seal if I want, but like, is it worth it? Probably not. Actually, I don't need the XP from these guys. I think Chitaro can get to level 5 just fine. On later maps. Just 1k gold. Yeah, it's it's not nothing. But it is basically nothing. This actually it only sells for like 500, I think. The CEOs only sell for, ha for like a quarter as opposed to half. Like, weapons sell for half, but like, non-weapons sell for a quarter. I think, it's to, I think it's to encourage you to use them. Turn to kill, blow to kill, go to reliably. It's an option. Oh wait, I can just move down and kill these guys with my... Don't be leered, right? Where is Goro? I can, I can grab the chest. Amazing chest ahead. No, it's actually surprisingly mediocre. Do I have any bait left? Oh, I, I do. I still do have bait left, actually. I still got Ike to bait these guys. I can bait the samurai with Ike, and then I can block everything off, and that should be fine. Is that a Dark Souls reference? You know me. I never reference anything, especially not things I like. Especially Dark Souls, which I definitely... It's one of my least favorite games of all time. And as you know, I never tell jokes. I never contradict myself. Because consistency, I, I feel, is the most valuable thing of any content creator. If you're not consistent, you're nothing. Or 
Or can the ninjas attack me? Hmm. Shit, we don't make jokes here. Yeah. Jokes are for people who like... Jokes are for scum. There's no such thing as a joke. No one should ever make jokes. Ninja is not in the- cannot, uh, deactivate traps. Jokes are for people who like having subscribers. Okay, let's lead them with Ike, who's gonna die. Revo was a joke, meme man. There we go, Ike's dead. Once these guys are leered, the reinforcements are triggered. So I can I can lock touch and deactivate the traps. I can kill these guys now. Fairly easily, I think. Then I can block these guys with like Hepto and Quattro pretty easily. It shouldn't be that bad. As a friend, oh you are a nerd with replaceable. a $20 donation Farewell. you uh, killed Jake. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, man. Good money spent. Yeah, that's actually surprisingly on point. He would have been kind of useful. That's inaccurate hit. Let's go. Oh, man. Shouldn't have gambled on that. That's fine. Kill him. Shira's still alive? I think so, yeah. He's still he's still alive. One way, some for one reason or the other. Oh, it's Penvo, he's worthless. Kill this guy. Then I have Corrin attack for some reason. Oh, he actually killed something. Knives and stabs no more. Yeah, I don't think I have any dagger users. Okay. Now I think everyone is safe here, aside from, uh... Charles actually have been in a bit of danger. Okay, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, shit. Maybe I sacrifice Shura to make sure Jotaro lives. Oh, wait, no. They're all blocked. Why? Oh, it's Pillar. The Pillar blocks movements. We're good. We're good. We're actually we're actually perfectly fine. We're fine. There's no risk here. This room's gonna move in to get slaughtered. Okay, uh trim kill, Jitaro kill. Let's have Trim kill the promoted units. Could it be Jacob also? I, I mean I could have, but like it would have been a point, right? And I guess that's fun in its own way, but like... I, I, I like being efficient with my resources, even when it doesn't matter. I think that's something we can all appreciate. Being being efficient for meaningless reasons. Isn't that what Fireman is all about? Just like... Doing something just like save things just because you can, right? Results? What, what's a result? What does that matter? Ah... Uh, the shot was so close. I guess I can feed the rest later. But we're really close. Paladin kill? I think a Paladin should kill the Mechanist. Results are for LTCers. I have a video I've been, I've been working on for the past week. But it's never hasn't really come to fruition yet. Because like, I just keep changing my mind on how I should frame things. And that's why, like, my, my videos haven't slowed this week. It's because, like, I just got stuck on this, like, whole concept of elitism. And it's really, like, bumming me out. Because, like, uh, I, had, I thought I had a good video there. But, like, it's... it's. I'm not sure how positive or negative I should be. About it. That's the thing, right? But LTC is boring. I think ultimately that's the, the majority of consensus these days. But like, it's also like back in the day, there's reasons why it became popular. I guess the reason is probably because of like, the problem is like, I could, I can talk endlessly about it, but then I have to write it. And there's too much ground to cover. Otherwise, I'll just be incomplete. Because like, LTCing, right? It had its place. 
it was it grew up LTC grew up in like a content environment where that was the most suitable content to make. These days, not so much. These days, things are more like Iron Man-y. And for good reason, I think. Because, like, it's, it's, it's more relatable. Ultimately, I think that's why they have lunge. Yeah, they don't actually lunge you unless they can do damage. That's, they have weird AI here. Iron Man's are the, definitely the more popular ones. But I guess the other thing is that, like, yeah, the average difficulty of the Fire Emblem game has increased. Right? Because Conquest is a legitimately difficult game. Like, even on its base lunatic difficulty. Whereas previously, other games like... Like, FE7... Were not, as di not nearly as difficult. You had to really, like, gimp yourself. You had to do much, many more self-imposed challenges. The other things that Iron Man's don't work. Unless, like, they're streamed or some other, like, process like this, right? That's the other content thing, right? LTCs can be displayed perfectly in, like, a text format. And as a result, like, elitism, like, is... <sighs> There's too many different threads here. Because, like, elitism is also, like, partially... Do you know the saying? You either, like... You either die as the hero, or you live to become the villain. Nah. You either die as a hero, or live to become the villain. To see yourself become the villain. I think, like, efficiency-minded play, and LTC, and, like, efficiency is kind of like that. Because, like, back in the day, back in the day, people had shit opinions. Like, legitimately shit opinions. They didn't know how to play the game. And LTCs, like, defeated those those kinds of thought. But the problem with... The problem, obviously... Is that they won. And then they were still there. And then... Sure, like, when you have good opinions contradicting bad opinions, that's good. But soon you have unsolicited opinions. Sometimes, then you have, like... Then the games, they have additional, like, self-imposed limitations, right? Then the experience gets increasingly divorced from what normal people play like. And as a result, you get these, like, that's why I have LTCs. And LTCs become, like, efficiency-minded plays, which become tier list specifically for LTCers. And then, the main problem, I think, most people don't like tier lists and elitism or OTC, is that, like, it's literally a completely different game. It's a completely different game from how Fire Emblem is normally played. And then you have these people who, like, are playing li literally different game from you, lecturing you on how to play. And that- that's annoying. That's annoying. That's hella annoying. Right? Because, like, the thing about Iron Man is that they can uh, teach you things in a way, but that is still relevant to you. Because, like, turning efficiency, sure, is a challenge, but not everyone cares about that. Everything you do in an Iron Man applies to normal play. Because the, uh, so that's why Iron Man is probably the most, the best challenge I think these days because it's the most relatable. Tier lists are separate from character guides. The nuance is lost because like it's there's like the there's like the subtle you know the, the subtle smugness that is passive, passively engaged, passively fire up and engaged in this sort of thing. There's there's the subtle smugness that exists in this in these kinds of situations. It might not be overt, they might not say it, but you know they're thinking it. And that's supposed to be the problem, right? Now that that's why I don't really think most people intend to be like intend to try to like be smug and superior, but that's perception at least. That's why it's disliked. And whether or not it's true is a different story. That's the impression that it gives. And that's why it's disliked. But I think also just like general like elitism, the uh the gets good mentality. 
as they call it, has like seems more into modern into the modern consciousness, right? Like Dark Souls is extremely popular. And that entire place is full of the gets good attitude. And it can have multiple meanings. Some of them positive. But it's it's but 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 many people think of it as a positive thing these days. But there's also the strange case sometimes where like the elitism is not even justified at all. Sometimes you just have people like being smug for no reason, even though, though they're literally incorrect. And that's probably the most annoying, right? They're just doing it just to rile you up. And that's that's it's hard to the thing is that is that that part is hard to differentiate from other things. Right. Are they like it's it's there's the legitimate like where they might actually know better than you. That might be annoying sometimes, but maybe you get it. But then there's like the annoying asshole who just like just does it to contradict you and tell you that you're bad. <laughs> That's like an, a significant portion, I feel like, that of the LTC thing that people dislike. People just say things just to tell you that you're bad. They're not even correct. <laughs> Anyway, that that's my thesis. <laughs> that's my thesis. God forbid you mentioned playing something other than than Lunatic. That part is a bit different because, like, ultimately, like, if you're talking about like challenge, right? <laughs> Lunatic is not really a self-imposed difficulty. It's a bit different there, but like, I guess it's the same thing, but it's more accentuated by self-imposed limitations because they're not really real. Lunatic is like a more real thing. And there's also the other leaders of like game versus game. There's like four, there's like three or four things here. Like you can see why I had trouble putting this video together. Right? It's like, I had so much, like it's, it's, it's tough. There's too many things to like, and leaders, it was like a broad term for all, all sorts of like smug assholes in the internet, basically for various reasons. It could be anything. Take Jacob's solo the boss. All right, yeah, we, get, we, get, we gotta have the death match. Let's give him a pebble. Let's go. You can do it, Jacob. You got this. The <laughs> rock. Dash it all. It was like a video topic, more like a podcast thing. Yeah, I guess this is always been kind of the podcast thing. Like, it's 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 a complicated topic, really. I can have 100% accuracy, but like, it's it comes at a cost, you know. Wait, did the deal actually happen? Wait, how did the deal actually happen? I thought Pebble. Oh, activity. Even though Jacob died, what? He hit. Interesting. That's nice. Oh, I guess his life wasn't... He didn't He didn't die in vain after all. As I intended to. He didn't die in vain. What a shame. He should have died in vain. There we go. Can you see some more hit? No, we're good. I had a lot of options. Let's, let's kill Chitaro. He doesn't have vantage, right? There we go. 100% accuracy. The other thing I have a theory about is like the reason why Elitism was more of a thing is just because of the format, right? There's more places for it to foster in a forum. Because like in a forum, forums are dominated by power users. Basically like terminally online people who have nothing better to do and something to prove. And, like you know, people like me, right? And like imagine like like that's basically Serena's forest. Or rather of any forum in general. Like it's mo it's People who post on forums, most of the posts on forums have a few users. Yeah, I guess there's like a reputation thing. Like, Fire Emblem is the hard strategy game, as opposed to the easier ones. Like, I don't know. We got the speedway. 
Yeah. We got the speed wing. Let's go. But yeah, it's 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 I, I'm 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 talking too much. I'm I'm spoiling the video if it ever comes out. Maybe like Monday. But maybe I think I should just not do the I should not do the video. I should just make I should go back to FE7. I should do FE7. I should just do FE7. That's better. Fire R slash Fire Emblem isn't elitist because because it's more of a softcore hentai sub. <laughs> Fuck, you're right. That is true. There's no room for elitism on Twitter and Reddit because they're mostly fan art dumps. That's probably a good thing, right? It's like the 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 content mechanism there. The war is more less controversial and more generally positive things, right? Art is like art is generally good. Fan art is like is very. It doesn't take time to consume. You just like you look at it. You can see the tens of hours of work someone put into something, and you can enjoy it. Whereas like no one's like like unless you're like the the fucking like Hooters Lucida guy, you won't be you won't be ruffling any feathers with fan art. Whereas like gameplay discussion is inherently provocative. Someone's gonna get mad that 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 you rated their waifu low, right? It's like ah. I have so much to say, but like, I can't make it that long of a video. And I need to condense it, otherwise I'll just be a rambling moron, right? I can't just say all this shit in one video, it's, it's, it'll take too long, And but if it takes too long, like... I, I can't say all the stuff I want to say. But if I say all the stuff I want to say, like, it's too much. And also, my capabilities of making a long video are, are very limited. I don't have enough energy to do it. Rambling is fun? It is. It is. You can read about Kage fans? I don't... Are you asking me to slander a group of people you don't like? Just just for the sake of it? I mean, actually, the past few days I've been working on getting my new, my new green screen set up. So maybe I could just, like, try rambling with the microphone for 20 minutes. But and hopefully I can fix my audio issues with a mask on. Because that's always been a problem. There's, there's too much, too many production things that are a huge pain in the ass. That I should just overcome if I can. I can just record myself playing FE and talking over it. That's true. That's actually 95% of video I see on YouTube. They just throw up irrelevant footage. But I want to differentiate myself, right? I don't want to be like a shitty video essay where I put irrelevant footage on top of like talk. I need to have my PowerPoint. I need to have my PowerPoint with re relevant images. It doesn't work otherwise. Even like, even though what I feel like I'm putting up is like, I feel like it's low effort, but like, it's not as low effort as that, you know? I can't, if I, if I put up a video of just me talking with like, fucking CSGO, the, the CSGO like, drifting, the jump map, I'm going to fucking die. Like, I, it's not, it's, I would just like, I would just evaporate. See a surf, yeah, if, if, if I make a fucking leafy video like that, I'm, a leafy ass video, I'm going to evaporate. My, my ego will disappear. I will be so subsumed into the greater consciousness, and I will cease to exist. I can't do it. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I'm pretty elitist, like, it, I'm, I'm very much elitist in some ways. But not in the ways that uh, there, there are different ways of doing it, right? And self-identifying as it is more of an ironic thing. But yeah, like everyone, no one says elitist in a in like an unironic way these days. People only use it ironically. I become an invisible warthog. <laughs> oh man. But I, I don't know. I, I, I value hard work. I value skill. If that makes me a leader, so be it, right? I think those are just important things. And I don't think that's controversial, right? I think most people do, right? Most people value, like... I value hard work. Anything that is hard, that is, like, has hard work put into it, I can respect. Maybe I don't necessarily, like, like it for various other reasons, like, but... I can respect anything, anyone that does hard, that works hard. I think, I don't think that's, like, controversial. But maybe it is these days. R slash anti work is a, is a huge thing sometimes, but it's con it's conditional on like working hard for yourself, right? That's something to be commended for, right? 
Like it's 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 it, there's no sense in working hard for someone else to benefit. That's like a different thing. But like I, uh, I feel like this may stray too much. Like there's a difference between valuing hard work and like being a slave to it, and like just doing it for the sake of doing it, even though it doesn't benefit you. Because that's the main reason why it's valuable. Because like. More work equals more stuff, equals more effort, equals more output, equals more thing for you. I don't know. I shouldn't be getting into philosophy. This is dangerous territory. This is about FE. Every nothing is about FE. No one no one who talks about FE talks about FE. No. Uh I have no rants about jobs. Well it's more about the, the principle behind it. Anyway, that's it for today. I've been ranting for way too long. I'm like... And we, we just beat Ninja Hell. Next chapter is chapter 18. Which is going to be the, um... The Zola map. And that's going to be pretty tough. Need sleep. Stream tomorrow? Yeah, I'll stream tomorrow. And, yeah. But yeah, I would just be chapter 17. Basically, everyone's alive except for... The good Trim, who had who was level 35. But yeah, I need to rest. I'll see you guys tomorrow.